Content warning, this is a horror game and it is not intended for all audiences. Please visit our website if you need a full list of content warnings. I don't think we need a list of content warnings, I'll be honest with you. I think we're okay. And I think by now people know what to expect from the channel. Slay the Princess contains flickering images, uh, flickering image effects as well as a parallax effect that on rare occasions has caused motion sickness in players. Oh, I see. If either of these cause health issues for you, you could disable them in the game's preferences. Okay. Click. Oh, I like the cursor. The cursor's like a gnarled finger. Whatever horrors you may find in these dark spaces, have heart and see them through. That should be a tagline for the channel. Uh, there are no premature endings. There are no wrong decisions. There is only fresh perspectives and new beginnings. This is a love story. Uh. It doesn't look like a love story. That's a nasty hangnail. It is a bit of a nasty hangnail, isn't it? I don't know if that's supposed to be like a beast's claw, like a, or just one, like a witch's finger or something like that. Music is on point. I need to turn it off, but... There we go. Yeah, the music is good. <laughs> I'm liking the music already. Okay, <clears throat> right, preferences. Have a quick look. You know, windowed full screen, skip unseen text after choices and transitions, menu visible, I don't know, flickering images. I think we'll be, we'll, unless it causes an issue, I'll keep them on for now. Boil effect, boil effect. Uh, yep, yeah, that all seems good. My volume looks good as well, to be honest. I don't know if I'm, am I a bit loud? Hey, Driffords, how you doing? Seeing someone else do a playthrough of the demo, I'll have to stifle myself. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind commentary. I don't want like open spoilers, if that makes sense. Um, in fact, I think I have a spoilers command. Spoilers? Do I? Yeah, I like getting lost in games. <laughs> That's what it says. Yeah, so. Go. Chapter one. The hero and the princess. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Voice acted? Uh, I wasn't expecting voice acted. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Wee. Sorry. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. So. Presumably evil. Oh, we have choices. So, oh. um, explore the end of the world. What are you talking about? Explore. Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? Explore. Killing a princess seems kind of bad, though, doesn't it? And explore. Is that captured properly? Yeah, that's captured properly. Um, explore. Can't someone else do this? Can't someone? This isn't my job. Explore. Forget it. I'm not doing this. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Wow, that took, this took a dark timeline turn already, didn't it? And explore, do I get some sort of reward for doing this? And oh, okay, thanks for telling me what to do. And sweet, I've always wanted to offer Monarch. <laughs> oh, I'm tempted by that one. Silently continue to the cabin and turn around and leave. Really nice art design. Well, yeah, from what I've seen so far, yeah. Um, I will I will wait and see, but the the two screenshots I saw and the cover art thing. Someone said that they're all, it's all hand-drawn as well, which I'm very interested in. Also, I completely forgot. Triffids, how are you doing? I, I haven't seen you in ages. I hope you're doing well. Um, so explore... Like, is this having a conversation with the narrator? The end of the world, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the end oh, yeah, of I am. everything as we know it. No more birds, no more trees, and perhaps most problematically of all, no more people. You have to put an end to her. Okay. I mean, I, 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 it remains to be seen, but apparently I'm just here to offer Monarch. <laughs> Yay, let's offer Monarch. Uh, but how can a princess locked away in the basement end the world? I, di I'm asking far too many questions. This feels like a very simple task. And I just, I've, I almost feel like I've quantum leaped in quantum leaped, quantum leapt 
quantum leapt into this person and I'm just like but what about the consequences but like 30 seconds before this moment my guy was like kill that princess kill that princess <laughs> still scrabbling financially as a freelance editor but otherwise life is pretty good uh, same boat different or triffids I completely understand um, it, it, ups and downs do you know what I mean isn't it weird how it's, it's weirdly dead in winter like even for even for editors and stuff like that it's so weird like during the summer I don't know what it is during the summer like spring summer maybe it's the financial quarters I'm not sure but spring summer I'm inundated with work and winter it's just and conversely if I get do get work in the winter people pay me immediately and if I get work in the summer they're like oh, yeah we'll pay you don't worry tick 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 <laughs> I'm like it's been two months. I really, I really could do with this. I'd like to keep the electricity on. Um, right. So these are. I can. I can. I see, how can a princess locked away in the basement end the world? Don't linger on the specifics. You have a job to do here. Just get in there and do what needs to be done. We're all counting on you. Do you have any evidence to back this up? Look already on the path to the, of the cabin. Why would you be here if it weren't to complete a very important task? You've made it this far, you might as well reach the end of your journey. I don't know, mate. Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? I, I would like to think they had some sort of evidence before this point. Killing a princess seems sort of bad. Can't someone else do this? Can't someone else oh, do this? If only that were the case, but I don't make the you're a narrator, though. I have to say, I'm surprised at your reluctance thus far. <laughs> but unfortunately for the both of us, you're the only one who can pull this off. Okay, let's... Like I said, I don't make the rules. Oh, have I still got the GOG alerts on? <laughs> I think I've still got the GOG alerts on, on my headset. <laughs> Bear with me. <laughs> Sorry. Got a weird alert noise, then, in my ears. Uh, which definitely shouldn't have come through, I don't think. Oh, unless... Wait, that wasn't on mine, was it? Was that something on mine? No, that was questionable results earlier. How bizarre. I, I heard the GOG alert noise then. Let me just switch to studio mode a second. It's just GOG game. Notifications. Mute. Good. Let's just hide all of that. And then go back to my game. <laughs> and then transition, which is hopefully should sort that out. And then turn studio mode off. All right, so there we go. Hopefully that won't happen again. Right, sorry about that. Uh, where is the game? There it is. Okay, so we'll, 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 play, we'll play the story. We'll be like, okay, kill the princess. Uh, look, I'll go into the cabin, I'll talk to her. And if she's as bad as you say, then maybe I'll slay her. But I'm not committed. Oh, so these these open different dialogue. Oh God, these open different dialogue options. Okay, <clears throat> maybe I'll slay her, but I'm not committing to anything until I've had the chance to meet her face to face. That sounds like a good one. I'm sold. Let's get on with this. Okay, thanks. Tell me what to do. <laughs> I, I still really like this one. <laughs> I still really like. I always want to offer monarch. <laughs> that. I guess we'll just have to see what happens. But a word of warning: if you go in prepared to hear her out. She could easily trap you in her web of lies. And the more you listen to her honeyed words, the harder it will mm, be to pull Honey. <laughs> I like honeyed words. Then each and every one of us is doomed. So sure, go talk to her. See how that turns out for all of us. Okay. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. Back. That is some good art. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Voice of the hero. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh. Is that? Wait. What? What's my role in this? Like, what's? Where am I? Where do I sit? Like, am I just? Am I like the central nervous system? Like, proceeding to the cabin. Is this split, sp like, multiple voices in head mode? 
The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Pristine blade? Ooh. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. If I want to do it right, uh, I will take the blade. Uh, I said I'd talk to her. But if I go in there and she's immediately like, haha, you're dead. Snap neck from a distance. Well, like, then I guess the blade wasn't going to do me much good anyway, was it? But, uh, uh, do I take the blade? Do I not? There are no wrong choices. Remember that. There are no wrong choices. I'm not going to take the blade. Just different perspectives. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light <laughs> below. Sorry. <laughs> this is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. The princess really lives here. Slaying her is probably doing her a favor. I think I've rented this house. Her voice softly carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? It's hypnotizing. <laughs> it's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Who is the hero? I, I, am I the hero? Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. Well, I don't know. I got a very good tip that there are no wrong choices by your creator, narrator. So, hi, just checking in on you. I'm here to save you. Lie, I'm here to save you. Hey, I think I'm here to slay you. <laughs> hey, I think I'm here to slay you. <laughs> and continue down the stairs. Just continue down the stairs. Good. You're still listening to reason. We. I can't stop doing that. I'm sorry. But you may still be able to do what needs to be done. Look, narrator, I'm just gonna talk to her for now. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. Mm-hmm. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? All right, sell down, mate. I am. Begging you to stay focused. <laughs> There's a lot riding on you. <laughs> like the fate of the world, apparently. Hi. Do you think you can get me out of these chains? Well, about that. Hold on. Let's talk a bit first, and I'll see what I can do with the chains. Hold on. Let's talk a bit first. Okay. Well, that's art. I mean, this is this is very nice. Uh, explore. What's your name? Uh, I explore. I don't know. So when it says explore, I'm thinking that my that doesn't end the conversation. That just digs a little deeper. That doesn't. Yeah, I'm gonna keep you locked away down here at least for a little bit. We can get better. We can get to know each other better while I decide what to do. Keep her locked away. Okay. Yeah. So that's I've decided to do something. I'm finding out more information. So this is not a decision. This is just a, a conversation arc. Okay, cool. Ah, Triffids, thank you. Okay. <clears throat> so what's your name? Oh. Come here often? <laughs> she pauses, carefully formulating her words before she responds. You can address me as your royal highness. Or you can just call me princess if your royal highness is too formal. Immediately don't like her. Is Princess name or her title. What if it's both? Could you imagine being named Princess Princess? Princess Princess. <laughs> so is Princess your name? I don't know anything about you. For all I know, you're locked up here for a reason. If I'm the first person you've seen in a while, what have you been eating or drinking? That's a that's a that's a very logical point. Um, I was sent here to slay you. You're apparently supposed to end the world. What are you going to do if I let you out of here? I'm going to keep you locked up. Oh, so that's decision. Keep her locked up. Decision. Retrieve the blade. Go back upstairs and retrieve the blade without saying another word. Oh, but I've already listened to her honeyed words. I mean, they don't seem that honeyed to me. Um, 
I can't believe they're keeping you down here. Like, so I examine the chains. That's me getting around. Okay, I'm going to get you out of here. Don't make me regret this. So what's the difference between these two? Sorry. I can't believe they're keeping you down here like this and getting you out of here. So it's disgust at the captors. Okay, I'm going to get you out of here. Don't make me regret this. So that's distrust of the princess. Okay. I like this. Uh, is princess your name? Dot, 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 dot. Like I said, you can call me princess if you'd like. I'm sorry. I have been down here so long. I guess I've just forgotten. I must have a name, though. Everyone has a name. Okay. Okay, that's weird. Well, hey, Greeny Green, how you doing? You doing all right? He's trying to trick you with giant anime puppy eyes. The eyes did get a little bigger. I'm not going to lie. They did get a little bigger. She to make a name for herself. Hopefully, you're starting to see that she can't be trusted. Go back upstairs, get the blade, and slay her before it's too late. Mate, I don't... That's... I don't... You are you are very pushy. This is I'm aware you are selling a point right here. Get it point, but you are that's a I I would like to know like what she's been eating and drinking. If I'm the first person you've seen down here for a while, what have you been eating or drinking? I don't see what that has to do with anything. This is the only time this is ever going to happen. But I agree with the princess. That's hardly relevant. Well, no, I I actually think it's relevant. Actually, <laughs> Thank you. She has to eat, huh? I don't know anything about you, Fallen. Oh, you're locked up here for a reason. I was sent here to slay you. You're supposed to, apparently, in the world. What are you going to do if I let you out of here? Right. I was sent. To, I'm going to be honest. I was sent to slay here. Oh, oh, I get a follow up. Okay. I was sent to slay you. You're supposed to end the world, but I don't think you're actually dangerous. But I wanted to see for myself. I'm still not sure what to believe. I'm starting to think it's true. There's something about you that doesn't feel right. I'm, yeah, I, I wanted to see for myself. I'm still not sure what to believe. Is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I, I like the world, I think. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here for so long. What have you been surviving on? <laughs> That's... How long has she been locked away? Did they tell you how I'm supposed to end the world? With laser vision, probably. Uh, deflect. What are you going to do if I let you out of here? I've been told... I've been told enough. No, I've not. Uh, I was hoping you'd tell me. No, but I'm sure they have their reasons for keeping that information secret from me. Fucking sheep. Jesus. No, which is why I think you're... I don't think you're actually dangerous or remain silent. Uh, I was hoping you'd tell me. I don't know how to destroy the world if that's what you're getting at. I believe her. She doesn't have to know how to destroy the world to be capable of doing it. Mm. Well, I mean, the narrator does have a point there. At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. I don't trust that, and I don't think you do either, or you wouldn't have come down here to talk. She has a point. Mm. We're talking like this for a reason. So this shouldn't be about what I'd do if I got out of here or me saying the right thing to convince you to save me. This is about how messed up this whole situation is. This is my life we're talking about. Mm, yes. Do you really think I can even end the world? Why would I even want to? We both know that if there's people we can't trust in this situation, it's whoever locked me down here. And it's whoever sent you here. And those two groups are probably one and the same. <laughs> Genesis! <laughs> Don't let her turn the tables here. This isn't about trust. This well. is about grit. We stand to lose everything. All for the sake of one person. And a subjugating monarch, no less. 
I don't know anything about you. For all I know, that you're locked down, locked down here for a reason. I won't kill you, but I can't just set you free. It's too risky. Fuck, I have to play risk management simulator now. I have to do this at work. I mean, not with humans, but, you know. Uh, what if I stayed here for a while and keep you company? Maybe then everyone could be happy. I'm trying to please everyone, and someone's going to someone's gonna kick off if I do that. I can feel it. I'm going to keep you locked away down here at least for a little bit. We can get to know each other better uh, while I decide what to do. Keep her locked up. I'm sorry, but I just can't trust you. This doesn't add up, and it isn't worth the risk to take your word over the potential fate of the world. I have no, I have no evidence to suggest this. Just a voice in my head, two voices actually. Just a voice in my head telling me, by the way, go get this blade and stab this woman who's sealed in this basement. There's, there's a good lad. Off you pop. Uh, go back upstairs and retrieve the blade without saying another word. I ke can't believe they're, they've been... Blah, 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 try again. I can't believe they've been keeping you down here like this and examine the chains. Okay, I'm going to get you out of here. Don't make me regret this. Right. I still want to explore a little bit. Um, oh, so I've only got one explore left and then I have to make a decision, right? I don't know anything about you. For all I know, that you're locked up here for a reason. I think she's going to kick off at this. Of course I'm locked up down here for a reason. Oh. I don't actually know what that reason is, but you don't just stuff a princess in a basement and throw away the key without there being some sort of an explanation, right? I love that all this is voice acted. <laughs> you have all the explanation you need should know better than to trust whatever she comes up with. No, I don't, but narrator, I don't at all, do I? Uh, I won't kill you, but I can't just set you free. It's too risky. What if we stayed here for a while and just keep you company? Maybe that would make everyone happy. Uh, I think I, that's such a wishy-washy one, isn't it? That's such like a, oh, I don't want to disappoint anyone. But I have no reason to distrust her. I, I mean, in fairness, I have no reason to distrust the narrator, but the narrator is the one saying, go stab this person. Voice acting here is really interesting. Hmm. Sorry, but I just can't trust you. Go back upstairs and retrieve the blade. I can't believe they've been keeping you down here like this. Right, I think this one. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here, but don't make me regret it. So that's I don't I don't agree myself personally. I don't agree, not knowing anything else, that they locked her up down here without telling me the reason, and without giving me sufficient information to say this is how and why she's gonna end the world. So I'm gonna get her out of here, but I don't trust her. You're only making this more difficult. Thank you, and, and you won't. I promise. Okay. You're making a huge mistake. Her eyes gotten bigger. <laughs> no, you're doing the right thing. Voice of the hero. Voice of the hero. Walk Voice. Up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. Did we all hear that notification noise just then? <laughs> Did anybody else hear that notification noise? Hey, undeveloped Bruce, how you doing? I have a horrible feeling. Oops, let's try not to do that again. Game. Uh, studio mode. Where is... Gog, gog, gog. Du -du 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 -du. Let's just delete those notifications for now. Remove completely. Thank you. Uh, let's just get rid of that scene. I'm not on GOG for a couple of weeks, so remove that. I'll regret this. Remove that scene. And then go back to game, and then transition. And then I'm hoping that I don't hear that notification again. But who knows? Studio mode off. There we go. Uh, yeah, Undeveloped Bruce, how you doing? Uh, you walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy. Far too solid for you to even imagine trying. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Uh, no. Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Good job. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. They might have. <laughs> you don't know that. 
and if there isn't a key, do you have any other ideas? I'm going to check upstairs. Maybe the key is still lying around somewhere up there. And if not, maybe I can at least find something to break you free. Okay. I'll be here. Good luck. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. God damn it. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. It's a trap. I knew this was a trap. Someone else here? Hey, let me out of here. Try the door. Return doesn't. Try the door. You try the door. It's locked from the outside. God damn it. Hey, let me out of Your here. Shouts and pleas are met with silence. You shit. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. I won't leave until the task is done. That's very interesting words there, Mr. Narrator. Go back down to the bottom of the stairs. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. The narrator's well sauce. <laughs> I don't trust the narrator. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. I'm only in a mess because someone, Mr. Narrator, locked the door. I heard the door slam. Yeah. They locked you down here too, didn't they? Yeah. Greeny Green, you have a very good point. That is wood. I could just kick it in. I mean, I don't know how tiny and, and frail this person is. There's a slight panic rising. Or how thick the wood is. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. Uh the mu the the play the delightful music has stopped and I'm worried about it. I don't like that. She barely raising her arm. <laughs> Tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. <laughs> I didn't realize this was going to turn into a Junji Ito manga. <laughs> As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. Wait, what? It's the blade from upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. Oh, how fortunate for me. Or we could use it to free her. Yeah. You won't like what happens if you do that. <gasps> Save the princess, slay the princess. Save the princess, slay the princess. Save the princess, slay the princess. This took a fucking dark turn. I was not expecting that at all. This legitimately feels like a Junji Ito manga now. Just like, oh, I am in prison, so I'm just going to gnaw my own arm off. Um, there is, uh, there is, there is somewhat wrong with this princess. I, I'm starting to believe that no more fence sitting, no more sitting on the fence. I'm going to save her because I'm a fucking people pleaser. <sighs> Fine. Against your best. <laughs> the blade against the ragged, self-inflicted wound on the, the eyes! Just above the unyielding chain binding her to this place. Look at the size of her eyes! To cut into her flesh. I just thought I was gonna pick the lock with the knife, to be honest with you. Also, what's going on with my hands? Am I like a... Am I a Sahugan? Am I like a lizard person? I have a knife in my cursor now. That's pretty cool. I have a bloodstained knife in my cursor. The blade is sharp, and it takes little effort to crack oh. the bone of her arm. Oh. Her limb falls to the ground, and the heavy chains fall <laughs> Bet I bet you anybody it starts crawling like the floor. <laughs> she didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal. Oh. No, she didn't. She smiles softly <laughs> as her gaze meets her yours. Face. Blood from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically to the ground. How is she still <laughs> smiling after everything? It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. Mm. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Mm. Sure, why not? We'll just get out of here and then I'll just go my own way. <laughs> no, we won't have any of that. The stakes are can't just let her escape into the world. No. I can't just let her escape into the world. I knew the narrator was in on this. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. <gasps> Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. So we're being controlled. I knew it. 
What are you doing? Ah, slightly princess, slightly princess, slightly princess, slightly princess, slightly princess, slightly princess. Oh, there's so. Oh, wait. Warn her. Warn her. Stop that. <laughs> Something's come over you, hasn't it? You, you know you don't have to do this. Right? Fucking bone sticking out of her arm. Oh my god. You can't quite see that, which is probably a good thing. Your body lunges forward, the blade held low, ready to sink into her heart. But the princess dodges, stumbling back against the wall before the blade has a chance to connect. Stop it. Stop trying to resist me. I'm trying to get you out of here alive. I don't know if you are, mate. Slay the princess, slay the princess, slay the princess, slay the princess. Slay the princess. Resist. Resist. The blade. Move the blade. Resist. As your body remains frozen in stubborn resistance, the princess takes a cautious step forward. We both know this isn't you. That's true. She nervously reaches towards you. The hand, the the hand is mine. Infuriatingly rigid hands. What are you doing? Never trust a narrator. That's what I say. I'm sorry. I'll try to be quick. Wait, what? She plunges <gasps> into your chest, tearing through flesh and sinew. It is agony. Oh no. But you aren't dead yet. Have an excellent night out, out, Greeny Green. Oh no. I'm so sorry. Stay strong. We can tough it out until it's done. For her sake. For her sake? We don't even know her. For her sake? <laughs> don't you start pretending that dying <laughs> some sort of heroic gesture the two of you have literally doomed everyone there's still no evidence of that whatever she sinks the blade into your chest again and again and again and you feel every inch of burning pain that slices its way into your body oh dear i'm sorry i'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. Clearly. Apparently not. <laughs> so it doesn't matter how sloppy her knife work is, does it? A stab wound is still a stab wound. Wow, well, he's got that. Before you bleed out. Yeah. Oh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Stop stabbing me, you mental gaze. With one last thrust of the knife, your legs give out beneath you. You collapse to the floor, your blood pooling around you, your limbs unresponsive. Princess stares down at your ruined chest. Your ruined chest. Rivulets of pink down her blood spattered cheeks. Fucking ruined chest. It can't just end like this, right? Apparently so. Oh, that's rich coming from you. As much as I prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. The two of you made your choice. It's over. Everything goes dark. Hang on, I thought there was no wrong choices here. <laughs> I appear to be dead. Chapter 2, The Damsel. What? <laughs> You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. What? I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. Wait, hasn't this happened already? Okay, no. But I died. What am I doing here? Oh, you bastard. You're in for it now. I'm wise to your tricks. Proceed to the cabin. Turn around and leave. Yes, uh, wait. This has happened. Hasn't this happened already? It hasn't. Or if it has, I certainly haven't been a part of it. We've just met for the first time, you and I. And that is definitely not true, is it? doesn't remember what happened then. Maybe it's best to keep it that way. Oh, the hero remembers what happened. Yes, he didn't approve of us last time, did he? The smitten. To save our beloved. We'll have to be save our beloved. Our beloved. Yes, you'll have to be very sneaky about your intentions if you're going to try and save the princess. <laughs> ah, so all of the cards are on the table. Then you should know that we and the princess are in love, and the four of us will be foiling any and all assassination <laughs> attempts you've got in the works. We'll see about that. Whatever you do, just be sure to ignore him specifically. <laughs> it sounds like he's the sort who'd sacrifice the whole world for a peck on the cheek. What can I say? 
A world without love is a world that isn't worth saving. <laughs> right, so let's assume I'm telling the truth and all of this really did already happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Those are two very different questions, but I'll, <laughs> I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or, or at least a version of me. If you're back here, I'm assuming you died, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. I mean, okay, that he has got a point there. You were the one who did us in, villain. Also true. Well, not you in the literal sense, but you did everything you could to stop us from rescuing her. Oh, I wonder why. Maybe it's because the entire world was at stake. No lone princess is worth that price. I beg to differ. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with you. I'm just going to take a deep breath and assume that whoever is making the decisions here has the common sense to ignore your protestations. Anyway, I believe you're Ooh, I'm loving the wordplay. Doing anything. <laughs> if you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. You forced the princess to kill us, and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Well. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? Hey, bd 5 m how you doing? Good to see you. If it's the latter, what do you think happened? think the people there lived happily ever after? Or do you think that the princess, left unhindered, brought about the end to everyone and everything, just like I told you she would? <laughs> she would never. <laughs> She's a perfect angel, but you cruelly imprisoned as part of some convoluted, dastardly scheme. Convoluted? I don't know how this premise could be any more simple. Princess bad, stop her, save <laughs> Uh, I'm with them. I'm going to find a way to save from the cabin. Let's talk about this princess. Let's talk about this Just princess. Be quick about it. All right. The only reason she was even able to kill me last time was because I let her. She could barely hold a knife. How was she supposed to end the world? Who locked her in the basement? What is this place? Yeah, this one. She just can. <clears throat> Believe me, I wish I could tell you more, but you'll just have to trust that what I'm saying is true and that, despite it all, you're fully up to the task that's been given to you. Maybe it's her beauty that threatens the world. Oh, smitten. Sure, it's her beauty. <laughs> Why not? And before you ask, no, you can't just keep her down there. If you don't slay her, she's going to find a way out. It's unfortunate, I know, but it's just the way it is. Uh, who locked her in the basement? People locked her in that basement, and I told you what this place is. It's a path in the woods. Don't overcomplicate things. This seems very oversimplistic, Nerea. Uh, if people locked her away, then couldn't they slay her? Why is this falling on me? And you're being cagey. Why aren't you telling me? You're being cagey. I told you everything you need to know. Going into more detail Princess would bad. complicate an otherwise <laughs> very simple situation and make your job more difficult. Not to sound like a broken record, but the less you know about her, the better things will go for all of us. I know it sounds like I'm hiding something, but you're just going to have to take me at my word. Mm, you did try to take over my body. If people locked away, can't they, Slayer? I'm not supposed to say this, but it's because you're special. Of course I am. <laughs> you're the only person capable of doing this. Call it a prophecy. Mm, I'm sure the hero's going to love that. Are. Oh, I didn't know we were special. <laughs> of course you're special. <laughs> Why else would you be here? Calling us special isn't going to make us friends. Even if it did feel nice. <laughs> oh, believe me, the last thing I want is for you and I to be friends. But I'm a professional, and I'm not going to let my dislike for you get in the way of helping you save the world. Okay, that's all. Great. Now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. Uh, I'm going with them. I'm going to find a way to just. But let's just proceed to the cabin. We'll interact with her differently this time a warning before you go any further she will lie she will cheat 
and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. So, she didn't do everything in her power to stop us from slaying her last time. She just presented a very good argument. Like, she presented good... I mean, she couldn't remember her name, but she presented a good argument in regards to, like, why we probably shouldn't be doing this. We already told you we're not playing along with your little game. <laughs> it's your lies that can't be trusted. Her beauty is the only thing in the world we can believe in. I think we've already been over this. <laughs> Pretty sure he just likes the sound of his own voice. I do, but I also <laughs> speak from the heart. My passions are too great to be stifled. They must be expressed. God. Every fear kid ever. Sure, yeah, your passions are strong and all, but not everyone needs to hear them. <laughs> Some things are better kept quiet. Yeah, sure, mate. Don't pay their bickering any mind. Focus on the task ahead. Proceed to the cabin. A beautifully hand-drawn cabin. The interior of the cabin. Ooh, it's changed. And elegant. Its stone walls draped in fine-threaded tapestries. A prison befitting a royal prisoner. The only so it is different. Is an ornate wooden table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Mm. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Uh, you didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. Oh, yeah, there's a mirror on the wall. Uh, this whole cabin is different than last time. Approach the mirror, take the blade, enter the basement. This whole cabin is different from Very last time. Different. Is it? I can't say I was paying much attention to the scenery last time. No, I bet. Maybe that's because you haven't actually <coughs> been here. I hope this means you'll finally drop that ridiculous past life nonsense. You haven't died, and you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. Mm, I don't know. It felt pretty real. So focus up. Stop letting your Focus up. I love it. Uh, you didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. That's because there isn't a mirror. There's a table, the, the blade sitting on the table, and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. I'm sure the princess would tell us there was a mirror if she were up here. God. In which case she'd be lying to you because... Again, there isn't a mirror. Mm, why would you lie about that? What's the point? And I want to look at myself. I want to see how handsome I am. That's a great idea. <laughs> we have to make sure we're looking our best before we save her. We shouldn't waste time preening. But if he is lying about the mirror, it might be important. I'm not lying to you. Use your eyes. There is no mirror. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What good would it even do? Let's go approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. Let's see our face. Let's see our face. This really isn't Face fun. reveal. Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward and rub your hand, hand. against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. But it was there a second ago. Ghost mirror. And now it's gone. Pity. We could have a feather out of place, and now we'll never know. We can't gallantly sweep her off her feet if we have a feather out of place. A feather out of place? A feather out of place? What what creature are we? Are we a Kenku? <laughs> okay, this time I am going to take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. So you have clawed hands and feathers. I suppose if we're to play the role of dashing knight, we need an equally dashing sword. That way she'll know we can defend her from her enemies. Hopefully it doesn't put her on edge, and hopefully it doesn't get turned on us. Again, there's no use arguing over motivations right now. It's good that you took the blade. You'll need it to do your job. Go in the basement. Very fancy door. The door to the Ooh, basement comes candles. Open, revealing an intricate stairwell. Gold trimmed carpet glimmers in the light of the torches positioned along the walls. Fancy. The basement almost seems welcoming in the dim firelight. Mm. But it's still a stone basement. With the 
princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. I have a feeling you're going to say that a lot. A soft voice carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? Her voice. It's somehow even more beautiful than last time. I can hear wedding bells already. Jesus, mate. I've held my tongue till now, but you're taking this a little too far. <coughs> we barely even know the princess. We can still do right by her without all this over-the-top fawning. I, I do feel like I have, I am the hero in this instance. Yeah, we still do right by her, but just yes, don't go over the top, mate. Sake, you're not in love. <sighs> just remember that her charms are all part of the manipulation. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall. My love, we're here to rescue you from your unjust foul imprisonment. You know she can't hear you, right? So there are voices in my head. She may not be able to hear my words, but surely she can hear my spirit. Oh, your spirit's plenty loud, all right. <laughs> It's you, my dashing hero. I was so worried you wouldn't come back. Do you hear that? She said we're dashing. God, it's like having Gaston in my head. And she called us a hero. Oh, I knew that would please them. Flattery really goes a long way for the two of you, doesn't it? Waiting for you to come back. I didn't want to believe your ravings back in the woods, but this is next to incontrovertible evidence. You've been here before. Yep. That's right, villain. And you killed us. Well, that's not well, quite what happened. she killed us. Yeah. Only because he made us try and kill her. It was self-defense. Our beloved's hands remain unstained by cruelty. <laughs> oh, man. That's this smitten character. <clears throat> so an entire world has been damned to oblivion. I really uh... think I'd be the first to vote. What's done is done. What matters... Hold on, if she actually ended a world, are you sure we want to do this? Are you sure we want to rescue her? Okay, so... We never saw a world end. I mean, that's true. Now I'm even more certain that we must chase our heroic and romantic destiny than I've ever been. Oh, I rein it in, mate. let anyone convince us otherwise. Rein it in a little bit. listening to him. He's lost it. Don't let him distract you. Just do your job. God, you sound like my manager. Uh, you killed me last time and it hurt a lot. Why did you do that? Uh, do I have to cut you out again? I really don't care for... Th I really didn't care for that last time. Oh, yeah. Uh, what happened after I died? I have to ask, did you end the world after you killed me back there? I'm sorry about what happened last time. The narrator who sent me here to kill you took over my body. It was extremely unfair. That one. Yeah, 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 mate. All right. That's okay. You were just doing your best, and that's all that matters. She took that in stride. Yeah, a bit. To a surprising extent. An almost unsettling extent, actually. That's because she's perfect. Oh, God. Do you think she has someone like him telling her what to do? Oh, she has an area too. Oh, the, the hero's on. on. Got their finger on the pulse of this. She doesn't. There's no <coughs> one else like other than the other version of you. I think he's right, because I like it better if she doesn't have some horrid little voice like him, always trying <laughs> to drive her to violence. Uh, I have to ask, did you end the world after you killed me? I don't know. Was I supposed to have ended the world? Would that have made you happy? Isn't that just like our darling... She's princess? changed quite considerably. She us happy. <clears throat> My heart melts further with every word that passes through her beautiful lips. Are you listening to her? That's a confession. Uh, no, I don't want you to end the world. Then I didn't end the world. No, that's, <laughs> that's, that's not how that works. See, she didn't confess <laughs> anything. She <laughs> is innocence itself. I'm not so sure. You killed me last time and it hurt a lot. Why did you do that? I'm sorry. Didn't you want me to? Did we? No. We warned her of the cruel forces seizing our body. 
Oh, did we actually get to warn her? She is our beloved. She made the choice <laughs> of Prius of our Jesus. misery to show us mercy and make the best decision for everyone. She made the best decision for her. Don't be so quick to assign kindness. You're just opening yourself up to manipulation. Uh, <laughs> do I have to cut you out again? I really didn't care for that last time. I'm okay with whatever you come up with. You can cut my arm off again. We won't be laying a finger on her perfect wrists. And indeed, we won't even have to. Do you see how dainty her hands are? We'll be able to slip her right out with no harm done. I'm so... Yeah, Bruce. Her face is so innocent, I continue to be suspicious. I... Did, she feels... Two-dimensional now. What? No, she's a prisoner here. You can't just slip her hand through the chains. Why are you two arguing over the logistics of slipping her hand out of her shackles? She just said she'd be okay with any idea we came up with. Am I the only one here who thinks that's weird? She didn't care last time. Why should she care this time? That's our stoic, smiling angel. Oh, fucking hell, Smitten. Right. It's extremely bizarre behavior and further evidence that she's a monster who's not to be trusted. So go ahead and slay her. Ooh, you just ordered yourself an extravagant birthday cake. What sort of birthday cake did you order yourself, Bruce? Um, what happened after I died? You died, and now we're talking. Oh, God, you... you... Sure, I'll see this one through. I can't let you do that. If you take another step towards the princess, I'll... You'll what? Take over our body and force us to try and kill her? Yes. <laughs> Biscoff Queen 3 layer monstrosity. Oh my god, I'm so envious. Not on my watch, villain. My passions contain titanic depths. And if you try anything that might harm our dearest, I will end our life without a second thought. You wouldn't. I would. I'd listen to him if I were you. He has a lot of strong feelings. Mm -hmm. And doesn't the world end if we don't stop her? <sighs> you approach the princess and gingerly slide her hand from her body. Yes. That shouldn't have worked. I'll be damned. We're doomed. <laughs> I can't believe it. I guess I had to. I told you. There's no life more worth living than that of a true believer. I'm free, and you're not the eyes. To this time. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> the princess jumps up and smothers you in a joyful embrace. <laughs> <laughs> Hugs all round. Hugs all round. Are you sure you want to do this? Just one slip of the wrist, and your pristine blade is buried in her back, and everyone out there is saved. Is that a threat? <laughs> you know what we'll do if you try it. <laughs> You're going to regret this. What do we do now? <sighs> uh, what do you want to do? Let me guess. End the world? <laughs> Spoken with the rank cynicism of someone who has never felt love in his heart. I don't actually know. Nobody's ever asked me what I wanted before. She doesn't even know what she wants. You may have had her all wrong. What if this whole thing is just a misunderstanding? What if she doesn't want to end the world? You're so gullible. Is the only thing you've ever doubted the actual truth? I think I want to leave. And I think... The princess closes her eyes in deep reflection. And then she shrugs. I don't know. What do you want to do? Oh, God. Oh, past life Mike was like this. <laughs> I want you to tell me what you want. There must be something you want. Do you want to end the world? I want to. I just want to leave. I We can figure out the rest later. If you want to leave, then let's leave. Something isn't right. <laughs> I want to say something isn't right, but I kind of want to explore more. I want you to tell me what you want. I just want to make you happy. Mm, what happened to her just then? She can't just want to make us happy. It makes sense to me. That's all I want for her, so of course she'd want the same for us. Uh... 
Something isn't right, and I'm sorry. Slay the princess. This isn't right. Let's just get out of here. If you want to leave, then let's leave. If you want to leave, then let's leave. That sounds perfect. As the princess takes your hand in hers, you let your blade tumble uselessly to the floor, and with it tumbles the last hope for the entire world. Shut up, cynic. We have each other. <laughs> we don't need the world for our happy ending. Ugh, I just want to make you happy, but I've heard that one before. I like to think that you do, actually. Look, I have my doubts, but the choice has been made, and this is happening. <laughs> you don't have to mope about it. Look at the little stars around her face. I will mope about it, because moping is the only recourse you love blind fools have left me with. You and the princess walk up the stairs hand in hand. The way she's smiling at you, she doesn't have to be so happy about this. And what happens after we walk up the stairs? Oh, isn't that interesting? The door slams in your face <laughs> as the lock clicks. That's a familiar move. Yeah. Did I do that last time? Well, you should know that you won't be able to leave. Oh. oh no! Did someone lock us in here? That's not fair. We're supposed to leave now. She's right. It isn't fair. But the unfairnesses of the world are no match for the strength of true love. Enough with this true love nonsense. You just met her. Of course you wouldn't understand. <laughs> Our passions run deeper than anything you have ever known. Are you listening to this? You don't have to go along with the every whim of that delusional voice. I'm just along for the ride at this point. <laughs> uh, do you think you can open it? I think we can open it if we try together. I think I've got this. Open the door by yourself. I think we can open it if we try together. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Like a pair of teenagers in love, <laughs> you and the princess place your hands on the door together. Yeah. <laughs> and <sighs> lock clicks and the door keeps open. Are you kidding me? I told you our love was in some mountain. I still want to know what we are. I genuinely still want to know what we are. We, we look gnarly. You and the princess make your way upstairs. Her freedom and the world's ruin are just a few moments away. If you don't mind, I'm going to fix myself a drink before you ruin everything. If I'm about to see the end of the world, I'd rather not see it sober. That's the way out. We're going to leave together, just like you wanted. Uh, well, yeah. Yes, I suppose you are going to do that, aren't you? Cross the room, opening the door to the cabin. And then you step out. See, no end of the world. Our happy ending at last. We did it. There you go. What should we do now? Well, where did everything go? Oh. Where did he go? Oh, is he gone? I hadn't noticed. I was too busy staring deep into hearts of loving eyes. I think we did it wrong. I think I think we may have made an incorrect choice in this game where there's no incorrect choices. I'm cold. Is being happy supposed to be so cold? Mm, no. Quick, our feathers, pluck them all, and weave her a coat worthy of a princess. What are we if we've got feathers? But you don't get chance to make that jacket. Something has taken her away, and it's left something else in her place. She's gone. Where does she go? Should we try and find her? Is that a mirror? It's the mirror. It's the mirror from earlier. Why now? I don't know where she went, and I don't know how we'd even go about looking for her. The narrator is gone. Is. Does that mean the world ended? Villain vanquished. Uh, let me just go on preferences a second. And just turn the sound volume down a bit. There we go. Voice volume and music volume. Music volume about there. Sound volume about there. Return. There we go. Uh, I think I'm supposed to look at the mirror. I don't know where she went. I don't know how to go about looking right. for her. She's gone. It's just us and that awful thing. 
How do you know it's an awful thing? I can't believe she was taken away from us. The nerve. Voice of the abomination next, please. Uh, I think you're supposed to look in the mirror. There's something dreadful about it. I, I don't think you should. Yes, I fear that we won't like what we'll see. What if we just sit here and preen for a while? That can't hurt, right? <laughs> Apparently it can. I'm begging you, don't do this. <laughs> Ignore him. This is the reminder that this is a horror game, ladies and gentlemen. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone. But the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. It's you. You're alone in a place that is empty. It is quiet here. Proceed, proceed to the cabin. What? You are at the cabin. Approach her. Something finds me in the warm quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. What is going on? What are you? The gifts of a fragile vessel? Is this the end of the world? Uh, let me out of here. Do you know the narrator? Are you the one who sent me... Wait, are you what sent me to slay the princess? Are you what trapped me here? Do you know about the worlds beyond this place? My God, there's so many options. Are you the princess? Do we know each other? What happens now? Attack the entity and destroy your body. What are you? I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? God, the, the, the music. Self-destroy. Solitary lights, what do you mean? Thoughts without connections. A dim and nascent network. I wish to be more. I love that. I love the hand moving, moving the mouth there. What does that remind me of? That reminds you of something. Um, it might be Independence Day. Uh, what do you think I am? I don't know what I am. I don't know what I am. I'm a person. I wish to be more. What do you think I am? I think that you are like me. I... Uh, we are ocean. Reduced to shallow creeks. Oh, hello, Phoenix. <laughs> you scared the shit out of me, didn't you? <laughs> Phoenix is very much enjoying all of the moving arms. He's, he's very interested in all the moving hands on the screen at the moment. Gift of the fragile vessel. Yes. Nerves and fibers to feel the worlds beyond. Perspectives to make my own. This one is soft. Delicate, you molded her to love you, and she'll make for a gentle heart. Oh, do not mourn her, she has served her purpose. Is this the end of the world? Let me out, let her out of here. Do you know the narrator? Do you know the narrator? You are the only thing I have ever known. The space we're in is vacant. Nothing comes Stop to you. Stop trying to sit on my keyboard. <laughs> I need to hide my keyboard. Because he's like, I want to stare at the screen, but I want to sit on your keyboard whilst I do it. Is this the end of the world? How can the world have ended if we are talking? Well, um, all right. <laughs> are you on the same to slay the princess? Are you what trapped me here? I have only just now stirred to consciousness. Oh. I could not have trapped you here. And I too yearn to be free. Interesting. Let her out of here. Do you know about the worlds beyond this place? I know only that they are. 
Are you the princess? She is part of me, and part of me is her. But were you always the princess, or are you just making her a part of yourself? You speak in circles. <laughs> Does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? It's like playing D&D. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, let her out of here. I'm sorry. There are some changes that can never be undone. Oh. There are some tears that can never be unshed. This is not a place that can hold a fragment <laughs> of a concept. The moment she arrived here, she was going to return to me. I promise that it doesn't hurt. What happens now? Nothing, as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe her to be able to. Just two more hands for that in collection, yeah. Bring me more perspectives so that I may be whole. And perhaps then we may know our freedom. So bring you more princesses. Aren't you scared that I'll find a way to kill you? How much will I forget? How many more pieces do I have to find? Uh, and what if I don't let you do this to me? I was sent to slay the princess to stop her from destroying the world. If I help you, is that what you're going to do? You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remold. Said every bad guy ever. You sound like Ultron right now. It means semantic. What are you going to do if I help you? How can I know? I am flickers and something sprawling. God, I love the, the feeling of all the hands there and this entity controlling and the music in the background. It's really trippy. Aren't you scared I'll find a way to kill you? I have not lived. I am not afraid to die. Okay. <laughs> Attack. No. <laughs> How much will I forget? How many more pieces do you need me to find? More than you have found, but less than there are to find. I oh. am the rest will find their own way home. And what if I don't let you do this to me? Then we will be here forever, as we are now. Unfinished. Dry. Hollow. I'm not going back. How much will I forget? Okay, okay, how much will Everything I forget? Everything. Until we meet again. <laughs> Anything anything more between one and every single person who exists minus one. Yeah, pretty much. That makes me think like there's there's, there's like ten iterations, but I only get to choose five, if that makes sense. Uh, okay, yeah. No, I'm 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 game. I did I I wasn't expecting a a quest from a cosmic entity, but I'm good. Let's do it. So she is here, then, the princess that you said wasn't. You won't. Oh, Jesus Christ, that made me jump. Everything goes dark and you die. Chapter one, the hero and the princess. It's a time loop game. Fantastic. And at the end I love of this. Path, uh, right, I need to, how do, oh God, what did I press then? Uh, return. Everything has gone dark, and I have died. Only joking. Hey, Catmus, how you doing? Oh, God, right. Where are we? Cool. Both cats are fed. Both cats are happy. I'm cold. That's my old man blanket. Oh, 
Go do some some cozy. We're gonna cozy up. This feels like a good a good cozy game. This. Oh, lovely. It's very cold in the house at the moment. Even with the heating on, it's cold. Oh God! All I could think of when the cats were eating downstairs, all I could think of was like all of the different branches that this could go off into, like all of the different. I'm gonna guess there's loads of different choices you can make in what I assume is. I assume this is going to be the same as last time or a similar but with consequences from last time and just so many different choices all the branching and all the all the decisions that you make oh, oh. I love it I love it right you're here to slay her if you don't it will be the end of the world the end of the world what are you talking about have you considered that maybe she oh oh so I don't oh so I don't get the other choices now so I don't remember. Killing the princess seems kind of bad, don't you think? Can't someone else do this? Forget it, I'm not doing it. Okay, so, sweet. I've always wanted to offer monarch. Viva la revolution. That's Going for it. spirit. <laughs> Let's kill the princess. <laughs> you make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. Let's do a murder. Let's do We're a murder. Go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Ah, shut your face. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Proceed to the cabin. So this is properly reset. Like, wait, I wonder if this is... Was that an end, then? The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. Is this the air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain <coughs> wooden table. Perched on that table, is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Uh, my mum searched for a house of her own where to move what she has inherited. What she has in the inherited house from her parents is going promisingly. Okay, cool. I'm I'm pleased it go, it's going promisingly. Gonna get me a princess to feed to my hand friend. <laughs> Collect the whole set. We've got doe-eyed princess. We're probably gonna have stabby McGee princess. <laughs> Explore. Take the blade. We're take just gonna the do. From the table. Ooh. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. The whole the whole music just stopped. Enter the basement. Bubblegum princess. Fuck you. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen Whoa. light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Like I said, I've definitely rented this place. Up the stairs. Who's there? Ooh. She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. It's different. Has expectations of tentacle princess. <laughs> That's a different graphic novel. Uh, hi, just checking in on you. I, uh, hey, I think I'm here to kill you or continue. Just continue on the stairs. You're still listening to reason. At first, my father was iffy about it, and then he saw. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? <sighs> Very different tone. Very different tone, isn't it? Uh, at first my father was iffy about it, then he saw it had fibre ISP service and became very happy with it. And then he saw it wasn't far from a tourist attraction he once took us to decades ago. And then uh, there's a large supermarket only one to two miles away. The not so great part, drum roll. <laughs> Ahem, in the vein of Cthulhu. Ahem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Questionable results. I believe you. Thousands wouldn't. I believe you. Uh, he says he has nothing particularly, no per no material possessions until now, because 
With that house, he suddenly has a ton of stuff he could move there that he didn't have because he was planning to sell the other house and leave and leaving the other things behind at his loss. Oh, wow. <sighs> that is wild. Wild, Cadmus. Uh, what? No way. Why would you even think that? He, uh, yeah, uh, just steal your nerves and step forward. You step forward, <laughs> your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your She looks sword. well suspicious. <laughs> Look at her face. Oh, no talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? Oh, very I'm sassy. probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. How hard is it to throw a knife? So... You should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. That sounds She's like a bluff. Unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. Uh, slay the princess. You lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. I don't know if this is the right thing to do. You feel flesh easily give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. Dead princess collected. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's one word for it. This is it, isn't it? Yes. I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming. But I have to wonder... Do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? The font has changed. The font has changed. It's like she's convinced she can't die. Yes. Even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive and well. Yeah, wait, you stabbed her without seeing where you were stabbing? Only looking after to see if you hit your target? Sort of, yeah. But it's over, isn't it? She stopped breathing moments ago, that arrogant look still plastered on her face. But is it over? Really over? Here come the hands. Angry eyes, very angry. Angry dead eyes. Very angry dead eyes. Um, of course it is. She's dead. I'm not sure. I feel like she has to have some kind of trick up her sleeve. Of course not. It can't be that easy. Oh, of course not. That was way too easy. Uh, I'm not sure. I feel like she has some sort of trick up her sleeve. It's over. You could check her sleeves if you want, but I can assure you that there's nothing hidden up there. We should make sure. What's the harm in checking for a pulse? I'm not touching her. I really don't think you should do that. I'm not touching her. And why shouldn't we? Is there something you're not telling us? I've just stuck a blade in her heart. I'm not touching I've her. I've told you everything that's happened with complete accuracy. The princess is dead. Your blade pierced her heart. There's no coming back from that. Uh, you're right. She's dead. Let's just get out of here. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> That's it. My job it's is done. Off. I'm going to go get my paycheck. <laughs> Eternal glory awaits. Time to leave. With work done, you make your way back up the stairs, closing the door to the basement behind you. Just in case. Barring it with the, with the table. Why do I feel like we've done something terrible? You did kill someone. Greater good or not, something would be very wrong with you if you didn't feel at least a little bad. But it was for the greater good. One of these days that will sink in and help ease your guilty conscience. But that day isn't today. Let's just get out of here. Leave. You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. We're the hero. Only a world saved oh. from certain doom isn't what you find. Instead, what you find is nothing at all. Where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago, the only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of some place far away. What happened? We did a wrong. Everyone is fine. It's just that you and the cabin are now far away from them. Don't worry. You'll be safe here. This is good. Everyone is happy. You'll be happy. Mm, wait a minute. This is the place where I saw the 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 many hands. That's bullshit. Let me out of here. Oh, okay. I was kind of hoping to get a better ending for saving the world. That's bullshit. Let me out of what's here. What's done is done. And there's no going back now. This is what's best for everyone. Trust me. 
You sneaky sod. Time passes. You can't be sure if it's days or months or years or even decades. It's all a wonderful, boring blur. You've never been happier. I don't know how true that is. Hey, we're not just going to stay here forever, right? Damn right. Explore. Didn't you hear the narrator? I'm happy. We're happy. I don't. We're not happy. Uh, hell no. Do you have any idea on how to get us the heck out of here? And of course we are. I like it here. I do. But you're probably not going to like it. Go poke the princess. Blade. Yeah. We can use the blade to get out of this. I can hear everything you say, little voice. There's only one thing little it would want voice. you to use that blade on. And I'm afraid that thing is you, dear hero. He's right. It's the only way out. Whoa, whoa. Do you hear that? It wants to take this happiness away from you. It wants this wonderful place to end. You're the only one saying it's you wonderful. Not. There's more for us to do. And the only way for us to do it is to take that blade and use it. <laughs> the plot knife I have here says otherwise. Don't think you're safe from harm, Norea. Don't you dare. Uh, wouldn't using the blade, you know, kill us? Wouldn't we be dead? Anything to get out of this hell. You're right. I didn't like that idea. I'm just going to stick around here and nothing, and do nothing at least for a little while longer. I'm not just going to stick around. I'm sure something happens if you do that, but that's definitely not my my sort of go-to right now. Um, anything to get out of this hell. Thank you. I made this happy little place for you. Is this not a good enough reward for saving the world? An eternity of bliss? You, you... Great. <laughs> Fine. Whatever. For the first time since time stopped meaning anything, you throw open the door to the basement and walk down the stairs. The princess's body oh. is dust and bones, <laughs> though the blade you used to slay her is still as pristine as the day you first held it. Wow, it has been a long time. Jeez. You pick up the blade, you stab yourself, and you die. <laughs> The end. Nice knowing you. <laughs> I thought there'd be other options. <laughs> the spectre. The spectre. You're on a path in the woods. Did I say chapter two and again? At the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. You bastard, you're in for it now. I'm wise to your tricks. I'm not, I'm getting this terrible sense of deja vu. Wait, hasn't this happened already? Proceed to the cabin. Turn around and leave. Proceed to the cabin. The rowing open the oh door boy. always sounds a bit odd as an expression. <laughs> I kind of imagine someone lifting the door of its hinges and throwing she it. She will lie. She will cheat. And she won't yeah. be. <gasps> the voice of the cold. She won't be a problem. That's a new voice. Famous last words, I thought there'd be other the options. The cabin is cold. A soft <laughs> odour of dirt permeating the air. It's how most of my D&D adventures said. In the corners. You can hear wind whistling outside, banging the shutters against the windows. The only furniture of note is an elegant antique table with a pristine blade a perched pristine on the pristine blade. Edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. It feels like no one's been here for a long, long time. Mm. Like I've been saying, she's dead. We killed her already. So every action that I take gives me a voice that's a consequence of that action. Okay. Um, Approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. What are There's you talking wall. about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. Wipe the mirror, and I guess it disappears. Reach yep. forward and rub your... You look ridiculous. A mirror as and now it's gone. Let's not spend much longer worrying yep. over it. Clearly it's not even important enough to be acknowledged. Okay. Uh, take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Enter the basement. Is she just going to be dead down here? The door to the basement groans open, revealing an old banister and a creaky wooden mm. stairwell. The voice of the cold is quite a layer of all, I must admit. Dust. 
and you can feel it settle into your lungs as you Please breathe don't in fall. the stale <laughs> air. The very building itself feels dead. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. I, l I really like how it's not the same lines of voice every time. Like they're, they're, they're doing a lot of different takes for this. That's a really, really nice touch. The room below is silent. Oh, she's already dead. Nobody's here. Naturally. <laughs> as much as I appreciate the optimism, you shouldn't be so sure. I guess we'll just have to go down and see. Bones. As you descend yeah. the final step, she looks different the form though. Of the princess comes into view. She's in a different place. A skeletal body, lying in a heap on the floor. Its wrist still bound to the wall by a thick chain. Okay, she's definitely dead. It's just like I told you. Before you have a chance to, two oh. deep set eyes stare up at you, followed by a uh. mischievous skeletal grin. <laughs> it's a rave. Finally, <laughs> Hello. the rest of the body floats up to join the head. Wait, this isn't right. What's going on here? Yeah, we kind of fucked up your timeline, mate. G -g 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 ghost! <laughs> ghost! <laughs> oh. Wow. How absolutely terrifying. <laughs> What's a ghost supposed to do to us? <laughs> Goddamn necromancer kids and their pranks. I always feel sorry for necromancers. Necromancers are just clerics that arrive 20 minutes too late. Like, you the person's still up. Do you know what I mean? Oh, it's you. Hiya, Keller. <laughs> I was hoping to see you again. I had some issues with how our last meeting went. It's kind of... Uh, I, I, that's a nice voice. The princess drifts across the room into your orbit. Gently running her fingers across your shoulders and down your neck as she circles you. Oh my. Her touch <laughs> is cold and ethereal, formless, Be yet real enough that her icy fingertips send shivers dancing across your skin. So she has a body, and she's right there. That means we could kill her again, if we wanted to. Uh, <laughs> wait and see how things play out. I gotta, I gotta let this one play out. I see you brought that annoying knife again. Well. So, are you waiting for a chance to use it? Or are you here for something else? I killed you. What are you doing not being dead? Uh, do you know why you came back? Stop playing the victim you threatened me last time. I'm sorry I killed you last time. I shouldn't have done that. Did you want me... Do you want me to die? Do you want me to kill myself to satisfy some sort of sick revenge fantasy? Because I already did that and it wouldn't be hard to do it again. Jesus. Ghost hands is twice the hands. Very efficient. Uh, I'm sorry. Is there any way I can make it up to you? I'm not necessarily... I'm not sorry I killed her. You're as cold as ice. You're willing to sacrifice our love. Why is Ghost still Ghost Shackled, though? That's a good question. Maybe because she died with the shackle on? I'm not sure. Uh, what do you want from me? If I knew I'd wind up having... Well, so many options. If I knew I'd wind up having to talk to you again, I wouldn't have slain you. Wow, harsh. I died too, and I'm not floating around like you. What happened? Why am I different? Why are you different? You're dead, or at least mostly dead. What can you even do to hurt me? After I killed you, this chair, this cabin, sorry, I want to say it teleported. It wasn't in the woods anymore. Time stopped meaning anything, and I had to kill myself to escape. That I mean, I don't mind being honest with her. Uh, I guess I should tell you I was sent to kill you. You were going to end the world. I was told you were going to end the world. Okay, clearly slaying you isn't going to work. What do you want? Um, okay, team, I'm out of ideas. Thoughts? <laughs> yeah, if you're dead, then there isn't really much for me to do, is there? I guess I'll be going, leave her in the basement, or slay the princess. I like the honest one. This one. When I killed you, this whole telling te thing teleported. You poor thing. That must have been so frightening for you. This feels like a setup. You know, after everything we've been through, it's nice to see someone finally sympathise with us. <laughs> this whole thing's been an ordeal, hasn't it? She doesn't mean it. 
<laughs> it serves you right. There we go. I was pretty scared too. When you stood there not saying a word with a knife clenched in your fist. But now you know how bad it hurts to get stabbed in the chest. It sounds like you got exactly what you were owed. I pooped a little. Uh, I killed you. What are you doing not being dead? Do you... Oh, I killed you. What are you doing not being dead? I don't dead? feel very bad. But I guess I'm not. Not dead. So you must have only mostly killed me. Mostly killed you. Or maybe death is only mostly real. But it's also mostly not real. I'm not sure. I'm just the one these things have happened to. I'm not the one with all the answers. Or any of the answers. But we're not a ghost. Unless we are? Maybe that's why the mirror disappeared. We're actually dead. Dun dun dun! Death, at least as a form of permanence, is just a concept. And clearly it's not a very useful one anymore. <laughs> Maybe we should throw it out entirely. Maybe you should write me a poem about it. <laughs> See, this is why I didn't want you to talk to her. Death is not just a concept, it is an extremely real phenomenon. Don't let her distort your reality. Cold, hard facts exist. The truth exists. It has to. Oh, so you don't know that it does. Okay. Stop playing the victim. I'm sorry I killed you last time. I should have done that. Did you want me to die? Do you want me to kill myself to fulfill some sort of revenge fantasy? Because I did that already and it wouldn't be hard to do it again. I'm sorry, is anyone uh, The people who wanted you dead tricked me and the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Well, I don't know that they tricked me. Like, I, I don't know that. I died too and I'm not floating around here. What happened? Why am I different? You don't look dead, killer. The princess grabs your wrist, a sudden shock of cold flowing all the way up your arm, her eyes still fixed on yours as you try to squirm out of her grip. And you don't feel dead either. Oh, I've still got... I thought my hand was normal then. I've still got the claws. She lets go and pulls away. Your fingertips tingle painfully as the chill subsides. I see. I'm less interested in why you are, or how you are, and a lot more interested in what you are. I've tried to leave on my own. Before you came back to me, I explored every inch of this place, even the spaces between the walls. But I never found a way out. I always wound up right back here. The talking and whispering at the same time is really wild in headphones. I just want to go home. I'm so cold and alone here. But you can come and go as you please, can't you? So, let me hitch a ride. After all, you owe me. Absolutely not. Is she asking if she can possess us? She is. And I hope I don't need to explain why you can't let that happen. It would be catastrophic if she managed to escape this place. And if you let her in, there is very little anyone could do to stop her. Would she be able to see us if we went along with it? Oh, maybe. Now isn't that an interesting thought? We could finally bring her face to face with him. I wonder what she would have to say to the one who wants her dead so, so badly. You won't like how things play out if you go down this path. Uh, what if I say no? This will just be temporary, right? <laughs> when we're out of the cabin, that won't happen. <clears throat> uh, if, if I let you in, do I still get to be in control? Before I agree to anything, we need to talk about what happens after you leave this place. I was told you'd end the world. Sounds great. Do it. <laughs> the answer's no and return. I need to think on this. Return? Return? Ghost versus narrator. I wanted to tell her about the narrator. Um, before I agree... Uh, before I agree to anything, we need to talk about what happens after you leave this place. I was told you'd end the world. And what? You just, just believed her? You, you killed me without giving it any thought? That's cold. Well, Lil. That's rich coming from her. <laughs> Every time she touches us, it's like we freeze over. She's right, though, but that's neither here nor there. 
What's done is done. What we do from this point forward is all that matters. Let's try not to let emotion get the better of us. Uh, obviously, it was wrong of me to believe that. How could you have ended the world if uh, all it took was a knife to kill you was a knife to the heart? Uh, what are you going to do if I help you get out of here. Well, we're going to go through. The, well, were you going to end the world? Yeah, she hasn't specifically said this. Uh, you didn't answer my question. Do you want to end the world? I'm not cold. I'm just dumb. <laughs> I'm just a big, dumb, stupid idiot. Stupid, stupid, stupid. What was I thinking? Just believing what I was told. I kind of want to say this one. I'll cut it out. You don't need to be so pathetic. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sure. Did that make you feel better? <laughs> Not really. Shit, everyone sounds disappointed in me. I should grovel even more. <laughs> what are you going to do if I help you get out of here? I don't know. Maybe I'll just fade away. Finally able to rest once I'm free from my unfinished business. Maybe I'll find someone to haunt. Maybe I'll haunt you. It's a tough question. Asking someone what she's going to do with her life. The princess leans in close and pauses, the frigid air between you stale and unmoving. Especially when someone is dead. She pulls back with a plate of food. <laughs> Voice of the gold. No, I swear it wasn't me. It was a bloodthirsty, bloody narrator. I only started speaking to you after that. I don't think most living people could answer that, either. Does anyone actually know who they are or what they want? Nope, I don't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love the fact I can still go down this path. Uh, well, were you going to end the world? I don't know. I just wanted to leave. I still just want to leave. You didn't answer my question. Do you want to end the world? The only thing I've ever wanted was to leave this place. It's still the only thing I want. You still didn't answer my question. Even if you didn't want to end it, does letting you out here mean the world is going to end? It does. We're not asking you. We've heard your whole speech already. I really, really don't know. I'm not lying to you. I promise. The world? doesn't matter. All I remember is that I'm supposed to be there. There? Not here? I'm just supposed to be a part of it. It's its home, I think. Oh, so... So the princess knows she's supposed to be somewhere else. Like with, uh... Handy McGee. But what does it mean for anything to end? I ended, but I also didn't. And you and ended you too. too, but here you are, and you don't, and you don't even look any different. I'm not so sure endings are real. <laughs> I'm not groveling more. Return, leave it at that. Okay. Oh, return! I would go back. Got it. Uh, your body's right there, though. Your dead body. Do you know why you came back? Stop playing the victim. You threatened me last time. Uh, I'm sorry I killed you last time. I shouldn't have done that. Do you want me to die? Uh, I'm sorry. Is there any way I can make it up to you? If I knew that wanting to talk to you again, you're dead, or at least mostly dead. Let the princess possess you. I'm kind of tempted to let her possess me. Uh, okay, I've given it some thought. The answer is no. I can't let you out. I won't let you possess me. Leave her in the basement or slay the princess. Let her possess me. The princess swims through the air in front of you, pausing for a brief moment as her dark-rimmed eyes stare deeply into yours. There's a hunger in her gaze. Hmm, I bet. You're really, really trying to make it up to me, aren't you? Thanks for being a pal, killer. I mean it. What are you doing? Don't just let her in. How many times do I have to tell you? <sighs> See you soon. <laughs> oh! She rushes forward, and then she's gone. A sharp chill spreads across your body. It starts in your chest, a freezing numbness flowing out from your heart all the way down your limbs. 
your mind growing cloudy and confused as it settles over your very soul. I'm not sure I like this. Can we get a do-over? Mm. I'm afraid it's too late to stop now. The numbness gives way to a stabbing pain, your muscles twitching and convulsing violently, each involuntary movement causing more waves of agony to ripple across your body. You collapse to the floor, and everything goes dark. Come on, you. You've got to get up. I know everything feels heavy right now, but we still have to get out of here. Your eyes flick back <laughs> as you get your bearings, your vision swimming as... So this is what it's like to be you, huh? Disembodied voice narrating your every move? <laughs> oh, she knows about the Rhea! So, it doesn't work like that for you? Clearly it doesn't. Or she wouldn't have commented on it. <laughs> All these shards of broken glass on the floor, are they also supposed to be you? Shards of broken glass on the floor? Hey, I'm not a shard of broken glass, I'm... It's okay. You can finish your thought. I'm a voice. I'm me is what I am. Who cares what we are? We exist. That's all that matters. You don't have to fight. We'll all be out of here soon. No, it matters. What we are matters. If I'm a shard of broken glass, then that raises some questions about certain other voices in here too. I'm clearly the same thing you are. That's another one he's talking about. They're not listening to me. Do they not listen to you either? Not always. No, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about him. You don't need to know what I am. You just need to know that I'm different from you. More important. Oh, maybe. The shards have something to do with the mirror. So, you're the one who pulled the strings and made me dead. I can tell you don't belong here. You're barely even there. Like the shape of something left behind. You're more of a memory than a person <laughs> it feels like i'm walking on broken glass that's rude might be true though you kind of like me actually i'm just going to ignore her you push yourself off the ground the princess is nowhere to be seen obviously she's nowhere to be seen <laughs> we've gone quite a way beyond what i saw in another channel ah thanks because i'm Ooh. in here with all of you Everybody Hello. knows that. Annie Makova. How are you doing, Annie Makova? Thank you for joining. And setting the stage. The room is empty because you made a spiteful, idiotic, and all round foolish decision. You don't have to let him get to you. You're better than that. You're starting to make things right. So she sounds very convincing at this point. Now, I know she's got the whole evil, evil voice thing going on as well. But she sounds very convincing, like she knows what's going on. So she said that the narrator is like her. She doesn't know where she belongs, but she belongs somewhere else that's not here in this basement. And the other voices in my head are shards of broken glass. <sighs> this is infuriating. Just whatever you do, you can't leave this place. It's not too late to fix this. Maybe the evil voice is Probably. her narrator. I, I feel like when she heard those voices, she will have been like, oh, so it's like that for you too. Whereas she she said, is it always like this for you? Slay the princess. She seems on my head. What am I going to do? I can't think straight. There's too much noise. I can't think it's straight. Okay. There's too much noise. We're almost out of here. Just take it one step at a time and everything will be fine. Everything won't be fine if you listen to her. One way or another, this is all going to end. Wouldn't it be nice if he ends with it? Oh, man, that the, co the vo voice of the cold is cold. Wouldn't that be nice? There's only one way to find out. Uh, yeah, leave the basement. Sure. Your He's going to try and shut the door. Weary with the weight of the princess's spectral form and clumsy with the cold that still pervades them, stumble towards the stairs. I'm just trying to get home. You don't have to act like it's the end of the world. But that's exactly what you leaving this place is going to be. But thinking about it, all we've seen is a forest. We've seen nobody else. What if these are just like weird, like bubbles of 
reality. I'm probably thinking too much into this, but the, we, we have no evidence that the world is going to end. But we have no evidence that there's a world that will end. All that we know is this forest and this cabin, that's it. You don't know that. I do. Wait, if she has a home to go back to, doesn't that mean that her leaving won't end the world? It doesn't mean that at all. It could mean that wherever her home is, it's outside of the world. Yeah, but it has to be somewhere, doesn't it? And if it's somewhere, then it's part of the world. I suppose it's all a matter of perspective. Where does the world end and something else begin? Does the destruction of one open a door to another? Or is it the same world reborn? Oh, I love this story. This story's amazing. I'm a bit warm now, actually. I'm going to take that off. This story's awesome. It also, the, the way everyone's talking is exactly like a DD and uh, roleplay moment. Against the backdrop of the inane conjecture of meaningless little voices, <laughs> your body continues its ascent up the stairs, staggering through the open door. And he didn't try to shut the door this time. So that's an interesting one as well. How much you hate her, you aren't doing a whole lot to stop us from leaving this place. There you go. Maybe the bossy one doesn't actually hate me. Maybe he even likes me. Or maybe he just knows that he's been in the wrong. Maybe he's trying to make amends too. So she's starting to sound more like she's trying to figure it out as well now. Not at all. I'll have you know that I do hate you. And I will continue to hate you for as long as I am able. I do think the narrator is pulling the strings all along. And whoever or whatever the princess is and myself, we're just kind of puppets in this. It's just the weight of it all. It's too much for me to do anything other than describe and dictate. And wine. <laughs> this bond Get him cold. was made to hold you and the princess. If you want to renege on your cataclysmically terrible decision a minute ago, well, you're the only one that can make that happen. Time out. This body wasn't made to hold you and the princess. What do you what do you mean this body wasn't made to hold you and the princess? You continue slowly to the door, your feet like lead dragging across the floorboards, growing heavier with each step. We're so close. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If we get out of here, I won't even care that you murdered me anymore. You lift your shaking hand and rest it on the door handle. But you pause before you open it, exhaustion sapping what's left of your will. Do I get a choice now? Was exhaustion really the best you could muster? <laughs> It's over. There's no use stalling. Let's see what happens next. Open the door. Shit. <laughs> but exhaustion wasn't <laughs> enough, was it? The handle clicks as you twist it. And then the door grows open. Oh. You collapse to the ground. You and the princess, free from As you exhale from the effort, you look up and see. Uh, yes? Nothing. He's gone. And so is everything else. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. So when I come to this place, the hair dimension. So I've still got the princess because I've still got the cloudy outline. When I come to this place, the narrator can't reach here. Okay. So we did slay him after all. He had it covered, I suppose. But what about us? Are we just stuck here in nowhere forever? Did taking her out of the cabin really end the world? We're still here. Yeah, but that thing you said earlier, are we not part of the world anymore? Are we in some world that exists after the world ends, or on top of the other world but not in it, or... <laughs> We never been part of it. God, this is like a D and D conversation. <laughs> it's just, it's just worlds all the way down, man. Okay, I've heard enough from these two. Let's see if I can pop out. Hello. You feel a lightness in your chest as a pair of sunken eyes emerge from your body and stare up at you. I, oh, you actually freed me, didn't you? I'm. Outside. 
Thanks for giving me a second chance, killer. <laughs> Stop calling me killer. Don't mention it. <laughs> I think this, this is where, is where I'm meant to be. be. <gasps> Hands. Right. But you don't get a chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. Where does she go? Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Uh, of course you're scared, but this isn't the end. This is the end for you, but not the end for me. I dare let's just approach the mirror. I don't want to freak out the hero. So the hero is there all the time, right? So the hero is sort of my inner monologue. But depending on what we do, I get different voices depending on the... You approach the mirror. Uh, I get different voices depending on the choices I get. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone again. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. You've grown. <laughs> My, how you've grown. You find yourself in the long choir once again. Proceed to the... I love the how the background moves when I move the cursor like this. And there she is. You're at the cabin. Approach her. Flickering lights and empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. Two more hands. I am more than I was before. You are more than you were before. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. Uh, are you the same being as you were before? How much of you has changed? What does it feel like it's changed like this? Uh, what does it feel like to change like this? When this is all done, do you know what you want to do? Yeah, if I'm if I'm creating a world ender here, uh, you know that the end of this once once you're finished, I'm going to kill you, right? It's harsh. Uh, when I go back, it's as if an invisible wall closes around me. Why can I not do the same things I've done before? Wait, what? That makes no sense. I don't know what that means. Uh, I count no no less than seven hands in the foreground. One of them's missing. But well, she did bite one off, so... Uh, you've been kinder to me than anyone else I've met. Why? What, well, to be fair, we've, only ever, we've never met anybody else. Uh, what do you want me to bring you next time? Do you have any thoughts on this vessel? Uh, I don't want to hurt you, but the more times I go back, the worse I fear things will be. What do you feel about me? These vessels I've been bringing you, I've hurt them. Yeah. How many more vessels do you need me to bring you? I'm ready to go back. I want to ask this one. What do you feel about me? These vessels I've been bringing you, I've hurt them. The vessels are shaped by memories of you, but their impulses are drawn to the edge of the long quiet. To them, you are a gate to something more, and any hurt you've caused them is understood as a fair price for freedom. But they are only thoughts and perspectives. They are not me. The wounds they've suffered carve texture around my heart. Without them, I would be as I was before. I would be alone and without sensation. I could not feel the joy of having you by my side. For I would not know your absence. The joy of having you by my side. That's very interesting wording. Are you the same as you were before? How much has you changed? Is a child the same as an infant? I am an unbroken pattern, but every vessel gives fresh perspectives and carves new avenues of expression. I am different, but I am the same. What does it feel like to change like this? Eyes close in reflection. Perspectives meld together, and the breadth of my experience stretches to new corners. There are contradictions, conflicts in my nature, and there are familiarities that bind everything together. It feels correct. This is what I need to be. This is the only path forward. Uh, when this is all done, how do you know? Do you know what you want to do? With every gift you bring me, <laughs> I expect. 
excavate the alleys of what I am meant to be, and every exploration yields new and complicated truths. What I will be is different than what I am. What I am is different from what I was. I cannot tell you what desires I will hold when I have changed. But in this moment, all I want is to know myself and to know you. She has two more foreground hands than last time, I see. She's also holding the head with two hands now. I noticed that. Uh, to be fair, that's the, that's the only change I noticed. Uh, you know, at the end of this, I'm going to try and kill you. I'm not going to try and kill her. Uh, when I go back, as if an invisible wall closes around me. You have been kinder to me than anyone I've met. Thank you. Why wouldn't I be kind to you? You are the only thing I know that isn't me. Do you have any thoughts on this vessel? This one is vaporous. She is a dream for a life she could never have. But that longing has given her so much capacity for kindness. She will make for an understanding heart. Do not mourn her. She will finally be able to hold what she never knew. Back invisible walls. What do you want me to bring you next time? Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. <laughs> Fair. My joy is in seeing what you choose. There are no wrong answers, and every perspective illuminates my shadows and shares new secrets. Now that the way she just put that, that makes me feel like there are no wrong answers. That I am working towards some goal that I will reach regardless but I, there, there's no wrong way of doing it. I'm sure that's not the case I'm sure there are wrong answers but how many more vessels do you need? If I am to be an ocean you have nurtured me into a pond my waters are shallow and murky and I yearn for more perspective you will have your rest in due time and I am sorry for the burdens I place on you So don't do you have any preferences on how you'd like to change or grow? My preference is for you to show me what you would like me to see. I cannot know the ways I wish to grow, for I have yet to feel them. It is you who guides me down the thin trail of perspective and memory. Okay. Uh, attack the entity and destroy your body. I am tempted to see what these do, but I'm not going to at this point. I'm ready to go back. I will long for your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. We will meet again. Oh! <laughs> Smashing glass! Glass on the floor! Everything goes dark, and you die. Chapter 1, The Hero and the Princess. Alright, so... You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin, and in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Okay, let's think about this. So, so that that happens when we leave the cabin, right? Uh, uh, arm god, whatever, takes the prince that takes the vessel once it leaves the cabin. So our choices in there are what we can do to shape that vessel. Okay, so what was the choice we made first? We tried to rescue her, and then we left. And then, wait, what happened? Oh no, we she stabbed us, we rescued her, and we left. And then we just stabbed her, and then we got possessed, and we left, okay. You're here to slay her. Yep. Uh, yep, all exactly the same. Sweet, I've always wanted to offer a monarch. Um, do I get some sort of reward for doing yes, this? Yes, but you'll have to slay her before you get it. <laughs> okay. Uh, right, silently continue towards the cabin. Oh, I should have turned around. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. I wonder what uh, voice we'll get. The princess within. We're not going to go through with this, right? Yeah, voice, the, voice of the hero. He doesn't know what he's talking about. 
Okay, no, we only get a second voice once we make this choice. Got it. Like last time, we made the choice to rescue her, and the we got the voice of the, of the smitten. Is almost entirely bare. The blade. Yep. I will take blade. You take the blade, and I will enter the basement. The door to the basement creaked. Her voice. Cat. Who's there? Oh, she got yeah. So her voice must change. It must be aggressive if I have the blade, but soft if I don't have the blade. She sounds. Don't let it fool you. Okay, uh, continue down the stairs. Good. You're still listening to reason. Right, now we're going to try and have a conversation with her. And lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. But if she dies in this... So there's two chapters, right? There's like, when, when the chapter changes from one to two, if she dies in this one, then she's dead in the next one. What happened... In the last one. Oh no, she didn't die in the first one, did she? We died instead, and then she was... Right, okay, and then she was back, okay. She's so cold. Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are, you are here we here to, to kill, kill her or something? or something? Wait, no way, why would you even think that? Uh, yeah, no, <laughs> no, no. I haven't decided yet, I'm just here to talk. I'm just here to talk. why did you bring a knife with you? How about you drop it, and then we can chat. Uh, okay. She makes a compelling point. What if we just dropped the blade and talked? Look at her. It's not like she's a threat. Well, you stabbed her. She turned into a skeleton. Sounds deadish enough for me. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. Uh, yeah, drop it. Blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face. I will be fine. Oh, I, sk I skipped one then, sorry. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. Yeah, yeah, all right. We, we've, we've all determined that the narrator's in on this. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. Uh, yeah, it's pretty awkward. A relationship. Are you coming on to me? <laughs> How would I get you out of here? I'm here because you're supposed to end the world. There's people out there who think you're going to end the world. What do you have to say about that? What's your name? How long have you been down here? Do you know why? I, do you know why I'm here to kill you? Okay, we've talked enough. Right. There are people out there that think you're going to end the world. What do you have to say about that? Don't just tell her that. And so our hero drops his pants. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I like. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here a long time. Just how long has she been down here? If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so... dangerous? She's got proper shifty eyes on. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, he's supposed to be so crass. I said trousers, but sure, you might have been going commando and <laughs> that bit being equivalent. Uh, deflect. What are you going to do if I let you out of here? Uh, I've been told enough. I was hoping you'd tell me. No, I'm sure they have their reasons for keeping this information secret from me. Uh, no, and if I'm being honest, I'm more inclined to trust you than inclined to trust them. I'm more inclined to trust her. You'll understand that I have your best interests at heart. Yeah, I don't think Hopefully you do, mate. Soon. I really don't. How sweet. Now be a pal and help me get out of here, would you? We can figure out how to deal with them after I'm free. Uh, I still have a few more questions before I decide what to do. Slay the princess. Actually, I've changed my mind. Examine the chains. I'll see what I can do. I still have a few more questions. Fine. What do you want to know? Uh, <laughs> a relationship. Are you coming on to me? Don't jump to any weird conclusions. <laughs> We're two people who have met each other. 
By definition, we have a relationship. Such sass. Uh, how long have you been down here? Too long. Note the lack of detail. You can't trust her. What's your name? She hesitates before answering. You can address me as your royal highness. I see. Or her majesty. Any honorific should do, really. Again, she offers no specifics. No matter how hard you try, you'll never get a straight answer out of her. Uh, how would I get you out of here? You can't. Don't bother. <laughs> I'm guessing you don't have the key, then. I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there isn't... Well, we can always put that knife to good use. Her sharp eyes settle on the edge of the blade. She isn't suggesting what I think she's Oh yeah, the hero doesn't remember right. either, does he? Technically, we don't remember anything that's she happened is. until we get I'm to sure the, the, the hair realm or whatever it is. Okay, we've talked enough. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? You know why you're here. Slay the princess. I'm getting you out of here. I'm going to keep you locked down here away for a bit, at least for a bit. That way we get to know each other better and I can decide what to do. I think let, let's keep the conversation going. Let's, get, let's sort of formulate a plan, maybe. I'm going to keep you locked away down here, at least for a bit. We can get to know each other a bit better, each other better while I decide what to do. That seems like a pretty good compromise. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. How will she find a way out? One way or another, I'm going oh. to find a way out of here. She turned to comic sounds you again. You can make it easier for both of us if you help. And if you don't, I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. Mm. You have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes it's the right one. Oh, okay. Uh, I made my choice. I'm locking her in the basement. I know you think this is a fair compromise, but it isn't. No one wins here. It's a chance we'll have to take. We can make this work. If we just stay here and keep watch, no one has to die. You're making a mistake. You turn your back oh, to the princess. right. And to make your way to the stairs. It won't be long before I slip these chains. And once I'm out of here, there will be hell to pay for leaving me behind. Slip these chains. She can't, right? She needed our help to get out of here. But do you hear the conviction in her voice? She sounds pretty certain. I don't think she's bluffing. Either way, she dropped her mask, didn't she? You can still turn around and finish the job. No, we're sticking to the plan and locking her down here. Oh, what a relief. I was afraid I'd already committed to not slaying her. <laughs> um, no, we stick to the plan and lock her down here. The death of all of us, but fine. <laughs> Have it your way. You close the basement door, <laughs> locking it behind you and quickly barricading it with the heavy wooden table that once held the blade. Okay, we can make this work. You settle in against the far wall to watch the basement door. It isn't long before you start to drift off, your eyelids heavy with fatigue. Oh dear. But sleep doesn't come. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. I know you're still there. <laughs> you make things easier on yourself and let me out. <laughs> Proper fucking demon voice. It's not like this little door I'll hold for very long anyways. She sounds terrifying. Like she's less of the princess you saw and more like something out of a nightmare. <laughs> As she violently rattles the door, you do your best to shut her out of your mind. When I get out of here, I'm going to pick you apart. Oh, ho, ho. this is a very I different princess. And I'll never forget it. You don't know the kind of enemy you've made tonight. Doesn't sound like she's getting any weaker. No, it doesn't. Threaten me all you want. All it does is ease my guilty conscience. 
So all of that was just an act, wasn't it? You're not really innocent or harmless. You're not even a princess. You're a monster. Ignore her and go back to sleep. Don't, I don't think I'd be able to go back to sleep. Nap time. Threat me all you want. All it does is ease my guilty conscience. Oh, princesses threats out of your mind as best you can and huddle up against the wall. What? How? How? You jolt away oh, God. The night to silence in the cabin. The ruckus has stopped, and the door to the basement is ajar. It's lock broken, and the table shoved out. Where is she? Thanks for helping me mm. get out of that awful basement. <laughs> You try and to your feet, but as the princess draws near, it's as though your body simply stops working. She's got all 30 ghosts on us. It isn't all at once. The paralysis comes in waves. First your toes go numb, and then your feet, and then your legs. You lie prone on the floor of the cabin, unable to do anything but witness her approach. <laughs> My God, she's my sleep paralysis demon. Whose side are you on? Yours, of course. But I have a duty to uphold the truth. Lying about the facts of the situation doesn't change them. So helpless. I can take my time with you, can't I? I can. I can fix her. She steps. Oh closer, God! <laughs> one silent footfall at a time, cocking her head in curiosity as you feel your organs shutting down. One one. Oh no. Or maybe I can't take my time with you. You don't look well. A little green around the gills. What a shame. If you'd only help me get out of here, we could have done such wonderful things together. Your lungs stop drawing in breath, and your heart freezes in your chest. You have seconds left. I don't think you can feel your organs. Uh, my guess would be if some of your organs stopped working, like you'd you'd realize it. I guess. In which order you feel them shut down? Yeah. I'd say better luck next time. But we both know this is the end, don't we? Is it? What? It can't be. This can't actually be how everything ends. I'm sorry, but it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. We were dead. That's it. Oh, chapter two. Oh, okay. Right. So if. Oh, so You're she didn't escape. Because she woods. didn't escape. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the a basement of that first. cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. Yeah. Uh, turn around and leave. You have already committed to my completion. Ah! You cannot go further astray. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, you cannot rest when enemies are nearby. <laughs> we need to stop dying. I think that might be part of the loop. I, I honestly think that might be part of it. Um, <laughs> you've already committed to my completion. You are on this path, human. You cannot stray from it. Uh, uh, she's going to kill me again, but I died. What's going on? I'm getting terrible sense of deja vu. Proceed to the cabin. I wonder what new voice oh, we have. Warning. Before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. I don't think lying and cheating is a thing. She was very direct with us last time. Or at least, she was direct with us after we decided to lock her away. No, it's true. It doesn't matter. Don't trust anyone. <laughs> Voice of the paranoid. Proceed to the cabin. I'm with Voice of the Paranoid, I don't trust any of these fuckers. The interior of the cabin is plain, uh -oh. the smooth wood of the walls almost featureless. The only furniture of note is a lone table, knocked on its side in the corner of the room. A pristine glade stands between you and the open, inviting basement doorway. The blade I'm is your mirror. implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Hold on. What happened to the door? 
is just an empty frame. She's already gotten out, hasn't she? And she's ready for us. She's been waiting. <laughs> Can't you feel her eyes on us? <laughs> I'm going to need all of you to pull yourselves together. The princess has not already gotten out. But if you keep getting stuck in your head like this, you're going to struggle to get the job done. So deep breath in, deep breath out. Your task awaits, and only you can do it. You didn't see anything about the... Uh, can I just approach the mirror? There we go. You walk up to the wall. I don't know what relevance this has, thing. but it feels important. It's a wall. There is. What are you talking? Touch, touch the mirror. There we go. Which one did he make it go away? Clearly, there was something in there worth investigating if he wants it hidden so bad. Mm. Uh, I will be taking the blade this time. Yes, I will take. Reach the blade. down and pick the blade up off the floor. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Good. Steel can't lie to us. Is it going to be enough, though? <laughs> Couldn't you have given us something else? Something, I don't know, <laughs> better than a knife? Could we have a bomb? A bomb? The blade is the only thing you need to finish your task. You're more than capable of pulling this off, so long as you don't lose faith in yourself. Those are the words of someone who knows he's sending us to our death. Paranoid's got it. Paranoid understands. Enter the basement. You cross over the threshold and onto a series of isolated steps suspended in darkness. What the fuck? There are eyes watching us in the distance. Like, uh, you can see, I don't know if you can see that. There are pairs of eyes and singular More eyes. eyes. Too. You never mentioned the eyes. <laughs> yeah. The air seeping up from below reminds you of fresh lightning and static, as if you're descending into a place that isn't meant for a creature of flesh and blood. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favour. I... I... enter the eldritch nightmare scene? <laughs> her cruel and playful voice prances up the stairs. Oh, I didn't think you'd come back. We're gonna have a lot of fun, you and I. Okay. All right, we've we've awoken the demon. She must have you confused with someone else. No, you already know this narrator. You really don't remember, do you? It doesn't matter. We need a game plan. We know we can't just go down there unprepared. Uh, how hard is it to throw a knife? It can't be that hard. <laughs> but then we'd lose our weapon. <laughs> we'd have to make it count. Otherwise, she'd be furious and we'd be defenseless. If a knife is even enough to do anything against something like her in the first place, it'll be enough. Uh, I'm going to talk to her. We don't need a plan. I'm just going to kill her. Mr. Narrator seems to think I can do it. I don't know why you're all being such pessimists right now. Step off into the void between the stairs. Holy shit. And continue down the stairs in silence. Um... Well, I think I think we might be past the point of talking to her at this minute in this run. So continue down the stairs in silence. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. As you emerge, God. you find yourself between two loose rows of white wooden planks suspended in nothingness. A smattering of cobblestones visible against the inky black of the basement mark where the floor Eyes. should be. Eyes. Vague pathways. At what seems to be the end of the room, they diverge in opposite directions. Aye, aye. Left aye, aye. and right. She could be anywhere, and there's nowhere for us to hide. We're completely exposed. Are you really not going to comment on how weird this place is? No, I'm not. Somebody needs to be the voice of reason here, and it certainly isn't you. Excuse me. I'm being incredibly reasonable. You're the one who's just matter-of-factly describing whatever the hell we're looking at like it's an ordinary basement. <laughs> he has a point. We're going to die down here. I don't want to die again. Please stop saying that. You're only going to make things worse. Just pick a direction and start moving. I wouldn't give it too much thought if I were you. It doesn't really matter. Because either way you go... I'm going to find you. Well, that was horrific. <laughs> uh, you're not curious about the void. There could be aliens are warping across it. Sorry, third rock from the sun alien anthem reference. 
Uh, go back the way you came. Uh, do nothing. Go left, go right. Oh, God, this really is like a pick your own adventure book. Uh, ooh, I'm going to go right. You turn to the right. A faintly outlined path lies before you. There you are. Oh, no. I told you I was going to find you. Fuck, I knew I should have gone left. As the princess approaches, your legs suddenly go numb. Oh, no. Your arms quickly follow. Oh, no. This is it, isn't it? And you brought your little knife with you again. Cute. <laughs> there has to be a way out of this. Think. Think. What did you do? Pull yourself together. She isn't supposed to be like this. I wonder how many times I'll get to play with you before you break. Oh, God. You're a nightmare. Your vision cuts out as your blood begins to coagulate. <laughs> It's as if every part of your being is coming to a lurching halt. Oh dear. You puff. Long. River. Nerves. Puff. Long. River. Nerves. Puff. Your lungs pull in a desperate gulp of air as your eyes shoot back open. Puff. Long. What are you doing? I'm working. Do you want this body to function, or do you want... To... Okay, whatever you were doing, please just start <laughs> Are you sure about that? Are you sure that's what you want? Or do you want to interrupt me some more? You have seconds left. Yes, I'm sure. Heart. Lungs. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Again. Your eyes shoot open as you gasp for breath. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. You can't decide what you want to do, can you? Heart. Lungs. Liver. I, I love that you can hear him in the background chanting Heart. it. Oh, well. Standing there gasping like a fish is more fun than dead. Even if you look ridiculous. She isn't attacking us. Heart. Why? Liver. The why doesn't matter. She's already proven her ill intent. Don't lose sight of your mission. Your weapon is still in your hands. Strike at her and end this before it's too late. All together now. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Uh, why won't you finish me off? Uh, what good am I to you alive? What do you want from me? What happened after the first... After you killed me last time? Uh, I was sent here to stop you from destroying the world. I can't just let you leave. You're a lunatic. You know that, right? <laughs> if you want to work together, can you at least turn off this whole organ shutting down situation? Um, how about I just kill you instead? We don't have to be enemies. We can work together. We can be friends even. I think, we might, that, I think that ship may have sailed. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'm not doing any of this. I'm not helping you leave. I'm not going to try and kill you. So do your worst. Toss the blade and remain with your nightmare. With your nightmare. Uh, okay, let's get out of here. Fine, you win. I'll let you leave. Run. Slay the princess. Mm, kind of want to try and slay the princess. But I also want to ask some questions first because I think it's going to be funny. Why won't you finish me off? I don't want to. And even if I did, I don't have to. Look at the way you're struggling to stay alive. It's taking everything you have to keep your heart pumping right now. And I'm enjoying the show. The princess leans forward to bring her masked lips close to your ear. If I want to see you gone, all I need to do is break your concentration. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. She slowly runs her velvet glove across the base of your neck. It feels like static. And then... Shit, shit, shit. Make her stop. Hey, snap out of it. Okay. Deep breath. Deep breath. We're fine. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Heart. You're back. <laughs> This is wild. One moment, and then you're gone. Just like that. Ah, and there's the fear. She pulls away. But that 
wouldn't you be, be very fun, fun now, would it? Nerves, I've heart, already done my... Liver, nerves, heart, uh, what happened after you killed me last time? I tried to leave while you suffocated, but that stupid cabin wouldn't let me. So I started to drag your body out with me, and then... Well, you died before I could get to the door. And then I was here, and now you are here too. I don't think I can leave without you. And dead doesn't count. <laughs> and as much as I love what we have going on, I have bigger plans than tormenting one poor little creature forever. I want to leave. Uh, if you need me alive, then why did you threaten me? Then why did you threaten me on the stairs? Why didn't you try to be nice to me? Uh, I was sent here to stop you from destroying the world. I can't just let you leave. And if I let you out, then what? Do we go our separate ways? I don't, I don't think that would happen. You're a lunatic. You know that, right? If we work together, if we want to work together, you can at least stop this whole organ shut down. I'm kind of enjoying the heart, lungs, liver, nerves vibe right now. Paranoids, paranoids carrying me right now. Um, and what if I refuse to let you out? What happens then? We don't have to be enemies. I'm not doing any of this. Uh, I'm going to ask. No, I'm just going to try and slay her. Slay her. Your will concentrates into a single fine point, and you strike out against the princess, ignoring the constant reminders of your breaking body. She doesn't even move as the blade sinks into her heart. I didn't think that would work! We did it. We actually did it. <laughs> you actually went for it! Oh, you're going to regret this? I could be so much more terrible for you than I am now. Can she? <laughs> oh no. We've already seen how she can change heart, lungs, liver, nerves. You're not getting those stairs back. I'll see you when you finally decide to die. She falls to the ground, unmoving. Oh. I, I can stop now, can't I? I can. And now that she's gone, you can let us out of here. Right. But she was the one who controlled this place, wasn't she? And now she's dead. I don't like to think what that means for us. It means that you're stuck here. Oh. Forever. Of course. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, I hate this. <laughs> Time passes. Time passes. Forever's going to end eventually, right? No, it won't. That's the whole point of forever. <laughs> it doesn't end. I feel sick. It doesn't have to be forever, though. Does it? What do you mean? We still have a way out, clutched in our hands. Uh, not the knife. Are you suggesting we kill ourselves? Won't we be dead? I guess that hasn't stopped us before. Well, yeah. That's a terrible idea. You've already saved the entire world from ruin. Why would you want to die? Because right now, you don't want us to do that. <laughs> You're right. I don't. But if we've already saved the world, then why does it matter if we die? Why do you care? I just do. I value life. Every life. Even yours. Mm, do you Especially though? Especially yours. Do you though? Why? What do you mean, why? I think it's perfectly reasonable to value life. Exactly. I don't have to answer that. Uh, it's not like it matters if I die, I'll just come back again. But I've got the best company I could ask for. You guys, what more do I need? They, these guys aren't chat. Hero. Uh, I'm not a creature of biology. Am I not a creature of biology? Won't I starve or die of de dehydration before forever happens? Uh, that's a good question. Are you stuck here with us or are you capable of going other places? Take the blade from her body and wait. Uh, am I not a creature of biology? That's a grim thought, isn't it? <laughs> but I suppose you're right. You are a creature of biology. Something will happen to you before forever comes along. We don't have to starve to death. You have our way out. Uh, I'm not going to kill myself. Uh, it's not like it matters if I die, but I have best company. Are you stuck here or are you able to go other places? I'm stuck here with you. I wish I weren't. 
feelings mutual. At least we're all being honest. Right. Wait. More time passes. You're still here. Is there another wait? More wait. Time pa- Is there another wait? Wait. More time passes. Oh. <laughs> More time. I wonder how many times I need to do this before More something time. else happens. More time. More time. More time. More time. Okay, so that's not happening. All right, cool. Uh, it's not like it matters if I die, I'll just come Again. back. Again? That's... That's unfortunate. You were only supposed to be here once. I don't like the way you said that. <laughs> you knew this was a possibility, didn't you? Of course I did. Though I'd rather hoped I was the first one. That explains a lot, though. Oh, you bastard. How much are you not telling us? Plenty. But it's all in your best interest. And the world's. And mine. <laughs> You're just two weights away from dying of some cause. Just kidding, I think. She's dead and we're stuck in a hell void forever. How could telling us your secrets possibly hurt anyone? It just can. Look, this world is saved, but if you start over, for all you know, you're just putting another world in danger. You barely managed to land the killing blow here. What if you don't manage it next time? (sighs) I've already said too much, really. You won't get another word out of me on the subject. He's orchestrated the whole thing. Wait. time. Nope. Uh, I get it. You don't want us to die because you'd be lonely. How sweet. Unlike you, I'm not capable of being lonely. Oh, sure you are. Give it some time without us and I'm sure you'll start feeling lonely. <laughs> uh, but I have the best company. Oh, you could do a lot better than us. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you'll be fine here. <laughs> Just come up with a game or something to pass the time. <laughs> Can you tell me your secrets no. now? No. How about now? Still no. Uh, I'm going to wear you down eventually. You might as well spill those sweet, sweet secrets now. You're not going to wear me down. Oh, we should ask him one more time. He's on the cusp of sharing his secrets. I can feel it. I'm not. Either way, at least needling him is something to do. (laughs) Secrets? The narrator ignores you. You can't just describe yourself ignoring us. (laughs) I can. (laughs) Secret? The narrator continues to ignore you. That's different. Oh, so now I now wait. More time. More time passes. 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 I don't think this is going to do anything. Okay, we'll take the blade from my body. You remove the blade from the princess's body. What exactly are you planning on doing with it? What do you think? Slay yourself. Throw the blade into the void. Let's do that. Oh no! What are you doing? You tighten your grip. And fling the blade as hard as you can into the void. It's gone. Now you're really stuck here forever. There's no way out now. You mean, other than starving? Right, I mean, other than that. Do you, though? Wait. You wait, and then you wait for a little while longer. But eventually the thirst sets in, and the hunger... The darkness of this place prevents you from wholly grasping the context of passing time. But that doesn't stop it from passing. Nor does it stop your biology from unravelling. The only things you know for certain are that it's long and that it hurts. The vastness of your suffering can't be adequately put into words. Everything goes dark and we die? We really shouldn't have tossed the blade. Throw myself into the void. No. No. You really shouldn't have. But biology and time are immutable forces. And eventually, long before forever gets the chance to come, everything goes dark. And you die. die. Don't muck it up next time. The princess may be slain here, but she isn't slain there. Mm-hmm. <gasps> chapter three. There's a third chapter. You're on a path in the woods. Uh, no, we're not. This really doesn't end, does it? It doesn't matter if we kill her. It doesn't matter if she kills us. It just goes on and on and on and on and on. Yes, so it does. Oh, voice of the cold this time as well. No, there has to be a way out of here. There just has to be. What if we 
do what she asked us to last time. What if we just let her leave? Okay, so you've already been here. More than once, even. Great, so you probably already know all about her and all about the threat she poses to the world. I imagine at some point you'll be confusing with yeah, it'll be confusing with 7382 voices in your head <laughs> just a, just a tuesday then let uh, me remind you how catastrophic it would be if you helped her leave in any way if she gets out the world ends and everyone ends with it yourself included oh threatening us with death are we and why should we be afraid of dying we've already done it twice all death has done is shunt us back to these woods where we're forced to listen to your empty warnings again I mean, and again. the woods do look different. This place feels a bit different though, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't even know what I'd call it, but it's definitely not the same path in the woods anymore. That's all the more reason to take this seriously. If the path isn't the same, it means that her influence is spreading. Mm. The world has already started to end. Where does it though? Her influence? I really shouldn't have said that. It'll make your task more difficult. Mm. But now it's out, you could always take that information as a sign of goodwill between us and do your job. No, right? mate. Great. Let's just hurry. Uh, are you the same narrator we met on the other loops? You were so quick to accept that we'd been here before. Suspiciously quick. If I had to make a wager, I'd say yes and no. Is that supposed to be a riddle? If it is... It's not very good. I haven't met you, but you've clearly met me. It sounds to me like you're hopping between parallel realities, mm. in which case the me you just met here is the same collection of experiences as the me you met at all of those other beginnings, but their continuity breaks the moment you say or do anything, in effect making them all separate. So, yes, I'm the same me, but ever since the moment we started talking, I'm different. I'm not sure how we're supposed to kill him ourselves, but he's asking for it. <laughs> Maybe there's some way she can take care of him for us. They've clearly all been through some harrowing experiences. <laughs> Don't let their baggage influence your decisions. You have the ability to see things clearly. I suggest you use it. Uh, we've killed her and been killed by her and neither of those things have gone well for us. If we're going to fall through this loop forever, eventually we're going to let her out. We might as well do it now. Um, what happens if we don't go to the cabin? What's That's another option. And she finds a way out on her own. So, standing around out here is the same as us letting her out. Only we don't have to see her. That's got to be better, right? Mm. No, it's strictly worse. And why is that? Because it's cowardly, for starters. <laughs> and because the unknown is always worse than the known. That's not true. <laughs> but really, all you're doing right now is weighing two considerably bad options. The only solution worth considering is slaying her. And whatever delusion is holding you back from doing that is just that. A delusion. If you already managed to end her in some other world, the only reason you'd be here is that you somehow managed to do it wrong. Uh, we've killed her. You're making a dizzying amount of assumptions. Your perceived reality looping twice before does not mean it will continue to do so forever. Those little voices have already drawn attention to the fact that even the path is different. The world itself is at a tipping point. Know that there is always a choice. Even if you were stuck in an infinite loop, there's no reason to assume that the mere nature of the infinite would force you to make any specific choice. Mm. You do have free will as much as things will be easier if you didn't. And you can just keep making the correct choice forever, never deviating. Everyone is manipulating us, but we're starting to see the threads now. We just have to avoid getting tangled up in them. On second thought, let's not kill him. Let's throw him someplace that never ends. I'd like to see what that does to him. The voice of the savage more like it. Okay, proceed to the cabin. down the path towards the cabin. It isn't long before you're steps away from your destination. The music sounds really one, off. You know what's in there, and despite your protestations, I think you know what you need to do. I don't like any of our options here. It feels like we're being driven down the tracks to some awful inevitability. 
There must be something we're missing. Something that would make everything make sense. Maybe letting her out really is the answer. Whatever. You don't want to listen to me? Do it then. Let her out. See what I care. It sounds like somebody's about to crack. <laughs> Are you going to use reverse psychology on me or have you just given up? Nah, let's just enter the cabin. The interior of the cabin is long and dark. Ooh. A single narrow hallway stretching far into the distance. Curtains billow out from tall windows on either side, obscuring the path forward, fluttering helplessly as opposing gusts of wind rush into the building clashing and joining and driving everything forward. The only furniture of note is... Hmm. That's strange. What's strange? Is it the mirror? The mirror? No, there isn't a mirror. What's strange is that there isn't much of anything in here at all, aside from the curtains. It's supposed to be a pristine blade. Why isn't there a pristine blade? Of course there isn't a mirror. There wasn't one last time either, so why would it be there this time? I wonder what the mirror represents. Obviously, we see the mirror afterwards. I suppose the only way to go is forward. So forward we will go. Blade or not, it doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, let's pretend there is a mirror at the end of the hallway, and that was then, and that right now we can't see behind it. What's there? What's behind it? You're asking what's at the end of the hallway. It's the way to the basement. Are you saying there isn't a door? Are you saying? end of the hallway there's just an opening again he didn't say door did he no i didn't say door because there isn't a door it's just an opening it's just like last time isn't it only instead of a visible <laughs> empty void there's an invisible one for all we know she could be standing right there behind the mirror for all we know she's gonna jump out at us and there's nothing we can do to stop her <laughs> let me assure you that there's nothing there nothing is going to jump out at you and certainly not the princess princess is in the basement okay approach the mirror you slowly make your way towards oh, the I actually moved then you. your fraying nerves buzz with trepidation the chill wind raising your hackles as it gently pushes you forward towards the darkness at the end of the hallway you can't shake the feeling that you're being watched yeah of course I'm not oh do we do we feel like we're being watched I hadn't noticed <laughs> at least you're admitting to it now <laughs> I knew Paranoid did say something. Stop as you reach the end of the hallway, I presume in front of whatever mirror isn't actually there. Wipe the mirror clean. I hate that I know what's about to happen. Knowing makes it so much worse. You reach your arm forward into the pitch black of the opening. <sighs> well, that was a close one. All that stress and lead up for nothing. Helplessly staring into the void. <sighs> I'm glad I made a lasting impression. Shit. Where is she? You feel something long and frigid coil around your ankle. Oh no. Your heart skips a beat, standing in muted shock for one long, frozen moment. And then it, she, the princess, constricts. Your bones snap. Oh. Icy pain radiates up from the break, a deep cold flooding your veins as your legs, numb with the shock of it, collapse. And you collapse with them. Oh, she just crushed my foot. You're met with the terrifying oh. visage of the princess. Her hand grips your leg in a steel vice, her grin carved jagged from ear to ear, crowded with far too many long and crooked teeth. Oh. You killed me last time, and that was after you tried to lock me away forever. I was so, so close to freedom, but then you took my body away from me. So now, I'm going to take yours, and I'm going to walk it out of here. Yeah, what am I? Am I like a bird? Because I have feathers on my legs. I don't know what I am. And you, oh. you get to watch me do it. Completely helpless. Just like you left me. Okay, maybe letting her in isn't the best idea. She clearly hates us. And what's your point? I thought you wanted to get out of here. This is a way out, and it's different. We might as well take it. Yeah, but not like this. She's going to make it hurt. Yes, she is. And turn off the part of you that feels things. 
The previous Clawdar made me think you were some sort of werewolf, but maybe a giant chicken. Yeah, I, I don't know what I am. A were-chicken. <laughs> oh, like it's that easy. It is. Pain is just another sensation. If you can tolerate joy, you can tolerate pain. Except that pain hurts. Yes, that's what it does. That's the definition. Do we need to explain to you why pain is bad? You need to explain to yourself why it isn't. Uh, look, we're even now. You killed me and I killed you. War under the bridge, right? <laughs> Sounds like a me response. I never wanted to hurt you. I don't even know how I got here. I'm a victim in all this too, you know? Wouldn't possessing me against my own will make you know better than me? You don't have to be evil. You don't have to do this. Do you need to take my body? Can't I just open the door for you? That's fine. I actually came here to free you. Kind of want to say that. A struggle. Kind of want to say this one. I actually came here to free her. wasn't so hard and maybe this will make it hurt a little less maybe <laughs> oh god the floor of the long hallway as the rest oh, of the princess's dear. body emerges her proportions all wrong limbs bent and curling moving in ways that defy your understanding her torso oh, stretches Lord. until her face is practically touching yours her neck cracking audibly as she twists to look at you from a fresh angle aye aye you sure you can't do anything to help us? Can't you, like, manifest a rock right on top of her head? And crush you along with her? Not that I even can manifest a rock. Besides, I thought you all wanted to free the princess. Not like this. You don't even have a weapon. So I'm afraid you're out of luck, which unfortunately means that I and the rest of the world are out of luck too. Okay, deep breath. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Heart, lungs, is it, liver, nerves. Is there any conceivable way that this is fine? Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> this is fine. It's better than last time. At least our organs aren't failing. At least I can actually talk. It is fine. Yeah. Everything is always fine. These consequences have no real impact on us outside of momentary discomfort. I'm sure we'll be moving on again soon enough. Oh, God. Fades as she tears open the membrane of your soul. Oh. <laughs> You're awake. Eyes once again fixed on the long hallway. Your vision swimming as the princess's command reverberates inside your skull. Her voice is all-encompassing. You feel wrong. Apparently our souls have membranes, yeah. Oh, that's, that feels weird in my headphones. So cramped in here. Like there's some sort of growth trying to push us all out. Oh, that noise. I know. You rise to your feet, though the pain in your ankle is blinding. Your body slumps against the wall, desperately leaning into it for support. I beg you to resist, but you've already surrendered your will to her, haven't you? You're the puppet master here. If this is the only way we could cut ourselves free from you, so be it. It's a new experience. <laughs> you should try being possessed sometime. There's nothing else like it. God, it's like someone's talking to me underwater. Your body inches along the corridor, every step more difficult and painful than the last. Your joints stiff and unresponsive, the shattered bones of your ankle grinding ceaselessly oh, man. as if they're fragmenting, then reforming, then snapping all over again as you make your way towards the outside world. There's what, a few too many so's there, I feel. But despite the anguish, it doesn't feel like the exit to the cabin is getting any closer. Oh. If anything, it's getting further away. Until it's a paste of me and feathers. Please just let her out. Yeah. Let me out. It's pointless.
Jones, isn't it? I can't stop her without you. You'd already given up by the time we met. No, no, screw that. The hallway gets even longer. <laughs> Oh. Really is, isn't it? She's the narrator now. Isn't saying all of this his job? Oh, he really is, isn't he? Oh. I had a feeling you could deal with him for us. This is it then. The big moment. Finally, we'll get to see what's really out there. The void. The yeah. Is the the air is here. Oh, that's a horrible ripping noise. <laughs> but as you step outside the bounds of the cabin, you feel another violent tear. A rending that cuts all the way down to your soul. You are once again separated from everything that had nestled in the deep crevices of your body, from everything that isn't you. We're us again. How interesting. Everything is gone, except her. What? What? What is happening to me? Hands. Hands. That's going to be an interesting vessel, isn't it? <laughs> oh. And the mirror. But you don't answer her before she's gone. Memory returns. She's gone. And there's that. Okay, approach the mirror. Touch the mirror. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. Uh, silence as you reach forward. You need to see what's in it. Ooh. You've withered. Oh, dear. Oh, I've looked better. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. See to the cabin. Oh, that looks very evil. You're at the cabin. Approach her. I am a growing chorus of contradiction. A mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in the directions that my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new, and to look away is to reshape them yet again. All of me is changing, and yet the rest of me is still the same. You can't be a contradiction. Contradictions don't exist. Don't be a smart ass. How can you stand to be a contradiction? It doesn't matter how many times I go back. At least one of us always hurts the other. Doesn't that change you? Doesn't that make you worse? It changes me, but it doesn't make me worse. Nor does it make me care for you any less. Does it make you worse? Do you resent me? If anything, it makes me like you more. I don't know what that says about me. No, not really. It all seems so distant as soon as I'm near you. I have no opinion one way or the other. Uh, I just want it all to stop. Yes, you're torturing me and I hate it. I think I hate you or remain silent. No, not really. It all seems so distant as soon as I'm near you. It does seem small from here. And the more we journey, the smaller each of those steps will be. But that doesn't make any of them less special. What do you think of this vessel? This one was loneliness turned to seething. She could not find her strength in others, so she found it in herself. She will make for a driven heart. Do not mourn her. She isn't alone anymore. Well, there's that, I guess. Uh, do you know what happens to the worlds we leave behind. My perspectives are shadowed. You have seen what I have seen, just as I have seen what you have seen. The angles of my vantage do not offer me hidden truths, and my attention is turned inward, except when you are here with me. Perhaps this will change when our work is done. Mm. Have you figured out what you'll do when you are finished? 
desires of my multitude thrive in endless competition with themselves, but none of them rise above their dance to influence me. I yearn for what I have always yearned for, our awakening. Other desires shrink in the light of knowing you and knowing me. Steady conviction not to uh, burst into an abba song there. Um, how many more vessels do you need to bring me? know when we near our destination. Okay. All right, I'm ready to go back. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. Oh, everything goes dark and you die. On a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. I wonder what we're here to do, kids. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Well, at the end of this world, as we have proven, there's there's a few in stock. Uh, the end of the world? What are you talking about? Okay, so we've gone through a number of these iterations. So this is part two. Um, so for the purposes of YouTube, when I stick to this together, different day for myself, same video for you. Uh, we've gone through a number of different iterations of this story, and now I don't really know what we... What were we going to do different this time? I don't know if there was anything we were going to do different this time, was there? Let's just try and leave... What happens if we just try and leave? Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave? Yes. Do you even know where you're going? Out of here, mate. A hundred percent out of here. Oh, Whimsical Sage, thank you for the shout out, by the way. I saw the on my activity feed, it says you gave me a shout out to viewers. Thank you, I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Okay, fine, you're persistent. I'll go to the cabin and slay the princess. Ugh. Ugh. the end of the world as we know it. Thanks, Bruce. Thanks. Fuck! <laughs> That's that particular ear slug just in there now. Um, hey, it's Sherry and Redick. How are you doing? You're looking good today. Uh, okay, fine. I'll go to the cabin and talk to the princess. Maybe I'll slay her. Maybe I won't. Guess we'll see. Why does my character sound so petulant all of a sudden? It's like, ugh. I don't want to go do this. Ugh, I'll do it. It's fine. Um, get out with another one. You're a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. That's less of a song and more of a statement of fact because I've seen you wear Barbie dresses. It's not true. Uh, have you slain the princess? Numerous times, friend. Numerous times. It all went a bit... Cosmic horror many hands last time. Yesterday, all my worries were so far away. <laughs> Right, where's the ban button on this? Um, <laughs> VIP or no, you've crossed a line there. Uh, I, I forgot what I'm doing now. Look what you've done to me. You've made me a, a weird musical mess. Um, God, you're such an ass sometimes, Bruce. <laughs> Love your pieces, but... Uh, excuses, excuses. She isn't even armed, so get to it and do your job. All right, Captain Narrator. Jesus, did you, did you, did you write this part? Uh, uh, maybe I'll slay. Uh, I'll go with Captain Slow Princess. Ugh. The whole world owes you uh, <laughs> that's that's way louder in my headphones than it needs to be. So when the hundred bits or more are donated or tipped. Um, so you want a mess. Uh, it, there's a spooky phasmo noise that plays uh, and it genuinely gets me every single time. If someone subscribes, not just follows, but subscribes, there's another one. I think if someone raids, there's another one. And yeah, so I've I've made it so that they're barely audible for yourself, but I've cranked it up far too high for me. So it scares the shit out of me every time. There's a really good one, actually. I can't remember what does it. But there's a really good one that's like this knocking. And it's a real, like, when I first heard it, I was looking for spooky sound effects. When I first heard it, I thought the knocking was coming from this wall. And I was on, I was alone in the house on my own. And this is our spare room behind this wall. So I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna, that's enough internet for today. Thank you. I'm just gonna go hide under my desk for a bit. 
I just gonna I need a blanket for an adult. Um don't but I've seen a bunch of this before, so I figured this would be funny. <laughs> you make your way up the short path to the cabin. You okay. Find the princess within. Do I need to get a pen and paper out to see what we have and have not done? Not sure. Oh yeah, the directional sounds. There's YouTube videos like that. Like it's just uh, like it's just a kitten, and then you get a knocking sound. Your left earphone free. Yeah, ex yeah, exactly. We're not gonna go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Well, ignore him. Well. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Proceed to the cabin. So there's at least three chapters as well. And I think so far we've only ever gotten to chapter three. The interior three once. of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. So anyone who's watching this who has not played this game, obviously this is part two. There's going to be spoilers. There's a lot of assumed knowledge here. Um, if you don't want spoilers and no one's going to judge you for muting the stream going away doing something else or just closing out whatever uh, but there there will be stuff that happens now that we will some people who were here on friday will understand and you know if anyone's got any questions or anything like that, like why does why do you keep skipping these bits of narration because we've we, we've heard them a lot so we can give you a synopsis and that sort of thing we can give you a tldr why does that woman have so many hands um why are you stabbing her so many times what's wrong with her face all that sort of thing we'll we'll fill you in the blade is your implement you'll need it if you want to do this right and if you're really lucky we'll catch you up too hey right i'm not gonna take the blade because we, we keep taking the blade. I'm not going to take the blade. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. Fuck this Bruce. is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. So now I'm guessing it's going to be the softly spoken princess. Her voice softly carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? It's hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Part of me wants to get a pen and paper out and be like, if I do this, like a decision tree, like do this, get this, do this, get this, do this, get this. Her voice softly carried up the stairs. Yesterday. <laughs> Uh, whereas if you carry the knife, she's like it's like her voice uh, heavily clangs up the stairs. I push my fingers into my. <laughs> Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. You're playing a dangerous game by assuming I've not lived through this six times already. Um, hi. Don't be a stranger. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Please. Come downstairs. That's a disarming voice, isn't it? That's like the people please with me. I got a snap out of that mentality as well, haven't I? Because I did that last time. I um, I want to help. I want to. I want to help. <laughs> Hello. Walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. It me. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. Name's Tagonist. Protagonist. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? Uh, what did we do to piss her off last time? Uh, oh yeah, stab her. Stab her in the face. That, then you'll see how much of a threat she is. I am begging <clears throat> you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. Many hands. I want a bit cosmic Hi. horror. Do you think you can get me out of these chains? I wonder if there is a key as well. I'm really interested. Uh, hold on, let's talk a little first. I'll see what I can do. Examine the chains. You're only making this more difficult. Thank you. Thank you. You're making a huge mistake. No, you're doing the right thing. I have an idea. I mean, it's it's a bad idea because it's like I've I've just gotten up from a pretty intense nap 
Well, I'll have you know, I'm an, I'm an extreme sportsman, by the way. Um, and uh, I'm on my first cup of tea afterwards. So this could Walk work the out badly. Binding the princess to the wall would give them a tug. They're large and heavy. Far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key? No. You do have some very sharp... Oh, oh my, princess, what sharp teeth you have. Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cavern. Uh, and if there isn't a key, do you have any other ideas? I'm going to check upstairs. Maybe the key's still lying around somewhere up there. And if not, maybe I can at least find something to break you free. And if there's not a key, do you have any other ideas? Maybe there's some way to break the chains? That's a good idea. Or if that doesn't work, I guess we can always cut me out of them. Yeesh. She offers the suggestion with almost complete nonchalance. I mean, also, depending on how long I would have been down there, I probably would do the same. If we were stuck down here long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cutting our way out if it meant we could finally be free. Fucking... I'm, I'm an organic hero. That's what, are. That's what I am. That's what me is. But the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Is someone else here? Try the door. You try the door. Return to the bottom of the stairs. We know what Make happens here. to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Yeah, yeah. Well, if only... If only it would magically clang its way downstairs, eh? For oh. Everyone. Look at the mess you're in. Uh, what did we get up to at the weekend, by the way? Because I had some friends and family over, we went shopping, and I found a steal of a bargain in the local retro games shop. Because we went into town and we wandered around. I found... Oh, God. Don't think you see that. Wild Arms on PlayStation 1. Da, 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 da. For an absolute steal of a price. It's real as well. It's not like a coaster or anything. I've just got humongous hands. Um Yeah. So I'm interested. What did we do at the weekend, folks? I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? Y yup. There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. You purchased and ate a birthday cake. My birthday was in March. I was having a week. I was having a week last week. Fair. That's, that's fair enough. Um, yeah, that's that's fair enough. You did tell me what cake you were having. I've forgotten what it was now, but you definitely told me what cake you were having, and I definitely remember having cake envy. Um, Hugh Mongus called me. She, he said he wants his hands back. Hey, Campus, how you doing? It's good to see you. <laughs> Hugh can beg. I don't care. If I could just get up. She barely oh. hesitates before raising her arm to her mouth, her teeth tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. Mmm, birthday flesh. As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. Now, last time what happened is we resisted and she gutted us like a fish. It's the blade from <coughs> upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way down here. Clang, but if clang, there's a time clang, to strike, it's now. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder if or uh, we could use it we to could free her. understand how it got down here, Mr. Narrator. You won't like what happens if you do that. <laughs> how many times must a princess be slain before you call A and E? Before you call social services? <laughs> um, I say, slay the princess. Without hesitation, you bring the blade down and. Plunge it into the princess's back. Finally. The wound drives her to the ground. Saws. Okay. There's no going back now. I'm with you to the end. You, you bastard. Were you lying to me this whole time? No, entirely. The princess pushes away from you, the motion ripping the blade from her back. Wounded, but still oh. alive, she crouches <clears throat> on all fours in the corner of the room and meets your eyes with the ferocity of a cornered predator. <laughs> Angry anime eyes. You've made a terrible enemy, and there's nothing in the world that can possibly save you from me. How about dagger to the face? I thought we had the upper hand, but it's as if she's 
barely even threatened by us. It's an act. She's wounded and unarmed. There's nothing she can do to hurt you. I'm not so sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure I should just bear her own arm off. Don't waver now. Well, she started to anyway. As you ready your blades to deliver a lethal blow, she lunges at your legs with the same animal ferocity she used to tear at her arm. Your knife cuts into her again and again as you're tackled to the ground, your body racked with pain as she rips into you with tooth and claw. I'm starting to understand why you were down here. Forget about trying to rescue her. This is about survival now. Give her everything you've got. Stab her! Stab her till she's dead! Though your nerves are seizing with pain, you know you've done your fair share of damage as well. Your blade having left deep gashes in the princess's back. You seize a moment of hesitation to throw her off of you and shakily push yourself back to your knees. We can still turn this around. Give up or finish the job. Finish the job! You steal your resolve and take another step closer to the princess. You probably won't make it out of here alive, but you can still make sure that she won't make it out of here either. Excuse me? What's this about not making it out of here alive? Do you think this is what I wanted to happen? I have a duty to state the facts of the situation, and honestly, it's a miracle anyone in this room is still standing right now. Don't act so surprised. So it's playing out, every fight like this is playing a little, out a little bit like a uh, a D and d fight. It's like, you attack this person, you slice this person, you slice that, they slice you, you slice them, they slice you, you slice them. And you're like, how much blood can a half-orc lose before being really unwell? Can you not feel all those gashes and holes pulling you apart? If the princess doesn't do you in here, blood loss is certain to finish the job. <laughs> Cheers, mate. You take another step forward, and the princess lunges towards Into you. the chin! Coup de grace. The two of you enter one last exchange, a flurry of blade and claw and fleshy ribbons. And then you stop. Neither you nor Princess able to go any further. You collapse on the ground, and the Princess collapses beside you. Blood pools around you both, and you watch each other. Mmm, <laughs> fleshy ribbons. <laughs> I'd finally found a friend, but you were just another monster, weren't you? Well, let's not be too hasty there. <laughs> I mean, you are the one with the... Well, I suppose I am also the one with claws. You are the one that tried to gnaw through your own arm. To be fair, D&D HP is less about taking actual damage and more about draining your focus and ability to evade harm until you actually start taking hits. That's a really good way of thinking about it. It's that, I don't know if that's like your interpretation of it or that's actually in a book somewhere but that's a really good way of thinking about it silence as the room starts to get fuzzy around you you've paid a terrible price but you've saved us all it's over everything goes dark and you die if you think this is it you're sorely mistaken one way or another i'll make sure you pay for this oh she's pissed but you don't have time to worry over such things. Everything goes dark, and you die. Chapter 2. The Witch. Oh, did we not have the witch at one point? Wait, no. Did we? You're on a path in the woods. I can't remember. <clears throat> and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Yeah, Sharon, it's probably... Um... Yeah, that's, that's probably a good shout. It's probably an interpretation, like a common interpretation. Or if it's exactly those words, then yeah, it's probably part of a book somewhere. But it's, it's probably the answer to a commonly asked question. How can I get hit so many times? <laughs> Let's be fair, we're all monsters in someone's eyes. Yep, you're all my monsters. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be. It'll be the end of the world. I know, I know. Getting a terrible sense of deja vu. Yep, okay. Let's just continue to the cabin. A warning before you go any further. Mm -hmm. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Who have we got to do now? Don't worry. You can trust us to get the job done. The opportunist. I like that. <clears throat> Proceed to the cabin. Hey, Greeny Green, how you doing? Good to see you, man. 
Especially those who put pineapple on pizza the or put the milk in first. A mess of twisted roots. The walls a chaotic weave of knotted wood that, almost as if by accident, just happened to resemble a room. Mirror! The floor is damp and earthy, and the only furniture of note is a slab of mud in the shape of a shelf with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Well, I'm I'm with you on half of that, Greeny Green. Half of it. The blade <clears throat> is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Ooh, Katmas, I like that. A bit like the health on Uncharted or Brothers in Arms games. Your health is not you being hit. It's the look going down, the likelihood of you being hit going up. I see. I like that. Uh, approach the mirror. Because he never mentions Walk the mirror. Up to the wall. Yep. Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward, <laughs> rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. Actually, yeah, Sharon, you've got a good point. Like chai tea, like Indian chai tea, is, is you kind of have to make it with milk first. <laughs> Enter the All basement. Right. I hope you know what you're Oh, no! To. Oh, I'm going to by the way. Oh, maybe maybe we can turn that around. It'll always be here if we need it. <laughs> sure, that was also true last time, and we still died. But we definitely know what we're doing this time. Well, did we? I say that every stream. <laughs> Stop being true in the ten door years. To the basement creaks open, <laughs> revealing a staircase dug into the muddy earth below. The ceiling is thick with roots that hang like locks of tangled hair. The weak starlight from the cabin windows behind you <clears throat> can barely penetrate the gloom here, only illuminating the edges of an opening below. It shines in the darkness like some kind of massive moor, waiting to swallow you up into the earth. The air smells of dirt and copper. It's thick and wet, as if your lungs are being coated in mud with each intake of breath. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favour. Yeah. Her voice skitters up from below. Skitters up from below. Something nasty finds itself on my stairs. Come on down. Don't be scared. I probably won't bite. Uh, I'm not nasty. But you are. You're a wretched little thing. I recognize that voice as easily as I recognized your nervous little footsteps coming up the path. I know who you are, and I remember what you've done. Uh, the way my colleague makes chai is to first boil the spices, and then when it's had some time, he adds the black tea, and after three minutes, some oat milk. Boil it in water? I don't, I, I can't stand chai tea. I think it, it has a really overpowering taste and aroma but my wife likes it so she must have you confused with someone else she seems friendly enough maybe we can talk our way out of this whole situation that's what i'm hoping for you can't unless you slay her right away she's going to break free and end the world there's no reasoning with what she is look i'm just throwing ideas out there I like to think out loud. I'm the kind of guy who likes a discussion. Don't we want to hear what everyone has to say before making any big decisions? No, stab first, ask questions later. Murder hobo, murder hobo, murder hobo. Do you want to hear what everyone has to say? Or do you just want to hear yourself talk? You need it to stop lingering. Your task is to slay the princess, not endlessly debate about what to do with the princess. Fine, fine. You're the boss. No, yeah, that's true. It's quite a comforting smell. I just, I can't drink it. There's something about it. Thank you. <laughs> you descend the basement steps. She got ripped into to shreds. Dark room below. You can just make out the shape of the princess in the gloom. She's huddled against <clears throat> the far wall, her eyes bright and glaring from amid the thick roots. And there you are, once again, seeming to offer a helping hand while likely hiding the other behind your back. Fine, I'll play along for now. What do you want? She's acting like the two of you already know each other. Yeah, about that, Nerea. Oh, no. You've already 
been here, haven't you? That's pretty sharp. How'd you figure that one out? Call it deductive reasoning. Well, you seem to be great at it. <laughs> You're amazing at it. Go you. You remember us, then? Do you remember last time? No, I don't. But you and the princess clearly have a shared reality, even if I'm not a part of it. I won't waste time fighting you on something that's clearly true. Right, so... <clears throat> so from what I remember last time, he was very, the narrator was very adamant. Like we had to really convince them that we had been there before through exploration text and stuff like that. Now he's like, oh, you've clearly been here before. I don't think that's a different narrator every time. I think that's the same narrator. I'm just glad we could put all this behind us. Oh, yeah, and these are the shards of glass, aren't they? There are shards of glass everywhere because that's what the princess said when she uh, possessed us. She was like, are all these shards of glass on the floor? Are these all you too? Is it all behind us? Just focus on the task at hand. I don't care if you've been here before, and I don't care if you think you'll go somewhere else after this. My world is on the line right now, so I'd appreciate it if you would take this seriously and slay her. Let's chat her up a bit first. Maybe we can find a middle ground where everyone's happy. Wow, opportunist. Don't talk to her. <laughs> You're just going to make things more difficult than they have to be. Well... I seem to remember you having a tongue. Uh, I'm sorry about last time. Look, I made a mistake. We all make mistakes, right? I'm sure you've made mistakes. <laughs> that sounds like such a such a like D and D thieves moment. Like, oh, we've all made mistakes. I'm sh we all make mistakes. You made mistakes, right? Everyone makes mistakes. Uh, I get the sense that you're not happy with me. Uh, you scared me, okay? When you started gnawing your arm off, it scared me. So I stabbed you. Things got out of hand. I love the pun there. Uh, I'm unarmed. That's gesture of goodwill. So why don't we talk it out? We both died last time. Can't bygones be bygones? Can't dead protagonists be dead protagonists? Uh, I died last time. You didn't. You didn't. If anyone here shouldn't be trusted, it's you. Look, I know, I know. Things got messy. Uh, but I think there's something bigger than both of us at work here. We should team up. Uh, who hasn't actually accidentally made a lot of money disappear from someone else's pockets? Exactly. It's just a thing that happens, right? And, and the world keeps spinning. Uh, why do I have a nagging feeling that you're going to stab me in the back if I help you get out of here? I don't trust you. Not enough to free you. And definitely not enough to get close to you. I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs> That's the nope ending. Uh, where is it? Something bigger than both of us. We should team up. I suppose you didn't come into my hovel of your own accord, did you? All right. I suppose I could team up. I need a way out after all. And unfortunately, you're the only one I have. Seems to me like she's offering a mutually beneficial arrangement. Do you know what the word mutually means? Because it sounds to me like she's offering an arrangement that benefits her <coughs> and her alone. I don't know. I keep ending up back on this bloody path. I'm sorry about last time. Ooh, smart. Let's apologize. Get us back on the right foot. Oh, you're sorry. Isn't that nice? You're such a gracious little monster. Such a gracious little monster. Well, if you're sorry, then let me out of here. Prove it. <clears throat> I mean, she's got me there. We both lied the last time. Can't bygones be bygones. You were the one who stabbed me in the back when I was still in chains. A dirty little thing like you doesn't get to decide when all is fair. Yes, Sherry, and if she helps me kill the narrator, that sounds mutually beneficial. Um, where's the you scared me bit? Uh, I get the sense you're not happy with me. I didn't bring my blade down, remember? How am I supposed to get rid of these chains? Why do we get the nagging feeling? Oh, I can't say that! I was going to ask you about gnawing her own arm off. I get the sense you're not happy with me. Is that a joke? A joke will charm my trust back. I mean, it's worth a shot. You'll have to try harder than that. I'm a pretty funny dude sometimes. Why do I get the nagging feeling you're going to stab me in the back? And why would I do such a thing? <clears throat> Is someone's guilty conscience getting to them? Every day of my life. But I wouldn't worry. As much as I may hate you, letting you live is in my best interests. If you get me out of here, the only thing that will be dead and buried is the bad blood between us. Okay. Oh, that nagging feeling you mentioned is me, by the way. I'm actually a little anxious about a potential backstabbing event. 
She needs us to get out of here. We'll be fine if that's what we decide to do. You won't be fine because destruction is in her nature. If she gets out of here, that's it for the world, remember? Even if that's true, that doesn't automatically mean she's going to stab us in the back. I think that depends on your definition of words like stab and in the back. She might not literally do that, but she could very well symbolically do the same thing. Yeah, the writing is superb in this. See? He gets it. There's nothing wrong with looking out for number one. Okay, I didn't bring my blade down, remember? How am I supposed to get you out of the chains? Oh, I don't need you to cut me out. The what? princess grins as the oh. chains fall from her <laughs> wrist. She could have gotten out of those the whole time. That sneaky little, a woman after my own heart, really. <laughs> She knows how to hold her cards close oh to Oh, God. Chest. At least it's not the smitten. Oh, man. This is why she can't just be abandoned here. If left to her own devices, she'll find a way out. Now stop her. Mm, no, I'm good. Uh, I don't trust you. Not enough to free you. Definitely not enough to let you get close. I'm leaving. Bye. Okay, let's leave. Yes. All right. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> oh, Sharon. She creeps forward taking one cautious step at a time until you and she are face to face. Oh good, she's going to eat my face off. She never breaks eye contact, even as the two of you find yourselves face to face. Is that a tail? Did she got, has she got a tail this time? She's silent for a long moment, as if testing to see what you'll do now that she's within arm's reach. After you, Have darling, <laughs> you're the one that lets come and go. It's best if I follow... You're the one it lets come and go. So she knows. She knows what's going on. Oh, no. We can't have that. If anyone is going to turn their back on anyone else, she's going to turn her back on us. Mm, historically, that we don't have a good track record for that. It doesn't matter who leads and who follows. <coughs> We're working together here. <laughs> we, just, we walk up the stairs sideways together. <laughs> well, if it doesn't matter, then she can go first. Maybe in this together, that doesn't mean we have to trust her. Is that a weird crown? Is that a crown or thorns or barbs or something? Steps away for a bit and she's turning into a lion. Yeah, so uh, first chapter, she started to gnaw her arm off. We stabbed her. She died. We died. Big teethy glory fight. Um... We both died. Now we're back, and this is chapter two, the witch. So now we've come in without our blade, and we've gone, why don't we just leave? And she's gone, okay, and just sort of let the chain fall off. But now we're debating with the voice of the opportunist um, who should go first up the stairs. Somebody has to go first, and it might as well be us. We're the ones who broke her trust last time. Thank you. You're talking a lot about trusting someone who, by her very definition, cannot be trusted. I don't know how many more warnings I have to dole out. Oh, narrator, shut up. her out of here, you're going to regret it. I've regretted it every time. <laughs> Explore, you first. I didn't turn my back on you. You think me a fool. Your tricks are one of the only things I've known. And I've learned better by now. <laughs> Before I shove away. Oh, my days. <laughs> Just go first. Uh, Explore, you're the one who says you can't leave here without me, which means I hold all the cards. Either you go first, or we stay up here. Up to you. Or we stay here. Up to you. The princess leans close, her <coughs> nose twitching as she sniffs your neck inquisitorially. She been... She has, have you become a furry? Is this, is this what's happened? What is she doing? Sniffing us, mate. I think she's trying to figure out if we're lying. So it's a good thing we didn't lie. Your stink is the stink of a wretch, but not of a liar. If I have to go first, I'll go first. But I'll have you know my ears are sharp, and I've got eyes on the back of my head. They'll be watching. Having seen some of your previous forms, I believe that wholeheartedly. I believe that to be 100% physically accurate. Eyes on the back of her head? Does she really? No, we're fine. <laughs> Princess pointedly turns her back. <laughs> We're fine. Starts up the stairs. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We're fine. Step onto the stairs. You follow close behind her, the two of you walking on tiptoes through the knotted roots of the basement stairs. We're almost there. You better not try anything. 
I know you're thinking it. I'm just wondering why you now have a tail. Us? No, never. Just keep your eyes peeled when you get out of the basement. You can catch my drift. <laughs> I guess. I guess no hand collection would be complete without some furry. <laughs> I don't follow. Oh, you'll know it when you see it. What? I miss that. The princess reaches the top of the stairs and crosses over the threshold, turning back to smile at you. But something catches her eye. Oh no. The blade. Oh no? It's the blade, isn't it? I was going to tell you to grab it once we got upstairs. That was the whole keep your eyes peeled thing. And then we would have stabbed her in the back and we would have been winners. <laughs> Sharon's not thinking anything apart from how cute her back is. <laughs> Besides how her back is just as cute as her front. I think someone's the voice of the smitten in chat. this in my back. What an awful little scheme that would be. Too bad I got here first, and I don't even need it. Bye-bye, you loathsome little nuisance. Then she slams the door on you. Its lock swiftly clicks into place. Fair. She can't leave without me. Locked in the basement. I thought <laughs> for sure she was just going to stab us. Me too, actually. The princess cackles from the other side of the door. How does it feel to be locked away and forgotten by the world? Isn't it just awful? Don't know. It's quite cozy, don't know. Uh, try the door. Force the door. Okay, fine. You got me. Very funny. Can you let me out now? Pause. Pause. Please just let me. I'm. I'm doing the furry thing now. Please just let me out. I promise I won't be mad. I thought you needed me to get out. Okay, what happens now? I'm stuck here. I thought you needed me to get out. I knew, but I just couldn't help myself. And we both know that you're already scheming about how to get back at me if I ever open this door. So we're going to stay exactly as we are right now. For as long as either of us live. Okay. I mean, this guy, we've spent eternity in the void. So, <laughs> like, we've done it once. We could do it again, right? Um, you got me very funny. Hey, right, what happens now? I'm stuck. Voice of the hero, dot, dot, dot. Voice of the opportunist, dot, dot, dot. Why isn't he saying anything? I think he's gone. Oh! <laughs> oh! I didn't think I'd ever have to see you face to face again. Otherwise, I might have given you a little more courtesy at the top of the stairs. No hard feelings, I'm sure. Why is everything going away? I feel cold. Hey, Hannah Watson on kick. How you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I wasn't expecting the hands then. Honestly, wasn't expecting the hands then. I thought, because normally, like, so has it just got to... Have they just got to leave the basement? Because that seemed to jump the gun a little bit there. I thought we had to get out of the, of the cabin together. But you don't have chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. That. Yep, memory. Uh, the the mirrors here will approach the mirror. All the voices go away. You approach the mirror, gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. You've unraveled. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. You're at the cabin. Approach her. There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. We're supposed to be there. Yes, Bruce. Um, also, Henna, my, my day's going really well, thank you. Hope your day's going well. Uh, Bruce, I, sometimes um, on one of the reflection moments, the ha the, the face and the, ha the arm looked really, like, uh, bloated and, like, drippy, I suppose. But I, I don't see a huge difference each time. I do agree with you there. Do you know what we'll find out there? No, is that a rhetorical question? Do you know? What do you what do you want to tell me? There's trees and stars, and there are people, I think. At least there's supposed to be people. 
Do you think that anything is really anything is real out there? Do you think we're real? Do you have thoughts on this vessel? Do you know what's going to happen when you awaken? When you send me back, I'm not alone. There are voices that speak to me. Some of them are me, but one of them is something else. I call him the narrator, and he wants me to kill you. Do you have a narrator? Have the vessels had one? How many more vessels do I need to bring you? Uh, if this is the last stage before your completion, then I'm not going back. I'm just going to stay here. I'm ready to go back, attack the entity and destroy your body. Okay. Is that a rhetorical question? Do you know? Do you want to tell me? Rhetorical. I am not rhetorical. I have only known these spaces. And I have known flickers of the lives you've brought me. Short and violent and full of passion. But all of those flickers end where the long quiet begins. Um, Hannah Watson in uh, chat on kick. I stream every Monday and Friday, 6 to 9 GMT. I'm asking you because I cannot know your mind. Do you know what we'll find out there? There's trees and stars and there are people, I think. At least there's supposed to be people. There is a warmth and sadness in me at the thought of people. Fresh tears on a winter's day. They are not like us. They do not last. Do you think anything out there is real? Do you think that we're real? We are real. Nothing is an idea that dwells in the absence of something. But nothing cannot exist on its own. And because of that, Nothing can't exist. Do you have thoughts on this vessel? Wow, those notes. Whoa, they are they are piercing notes. When you send me back, there are I am not alone. There are voices that speak to me. Some of them are me, but one of them is something else. I call him the narrator, and he wants me to kill you. Do you have a narrator? Have the vessels had one? No. Their thoughts are quiet. Do you think your narrator lives in the spaces beyond? He does. I don't know why, but I know this for a fact. So I don't know it for a fact, do I? He does. I don't know what I'm going to do when I find him. That's a truthful statement. He does, and when I find him, you and I will finally get some answers. Also potentially truthful. He does, and I know when I find him, I'm going to kill him. Potentially truthful. He does, but you're going to keep... But you're going to keep that to yourself. You can't keep that to yourself. Oh, I'm not saying that. That's a thought. Got it. It's not in quotation marks. Got it. Um, he does, and I don't know what I'm going to do when I find him. There's no need for you to know what you are going to do before you do it. If you find him, remember that I'll be waiting for you on the other side. Do you have thoughts on this vessel? This one is hope, marred by bitterness. She could see the end of the tunnel, and the door was closed on her. She will make for a righteous and weathered heart. Do not mourn her. She is finally on the other side. <laughs> oh, thanks, Anna Watson. Uh, I'm from the UK. Uh, do you know what's going to happen when you awaken? How many more vessels do you need? How many more vessels do I need to bring you? One. <gasps> Whatever you bring me next will be enough. And then gravity will pull the others back to me. I will be singular. A final multitude. Some interesting wording there. Do you know what's going to happen when you awaken? No. The point of awakening is to find out. If this is the last time, is there anything you would like me to bring you? A snack, maybe? Um, if this is the last stage before your completion, then I'm not going back. I'm just going to stay here. But we just that we just stay here for a bit, and that, that's all that happens. Thought I was joined by a cat, then I'm not. Um... 
people just bought her a snack. Yeah, true. These gifts are a conversation, and each one shows me the contours of your heart. The only thing I want to see is what you choose for me when the thread is fully drawn. Uh, Helen Watson. Yeah, I'm a bit of an anime fan. I don't watch too much anime anymore, but a little bit of a fan. Okay, I am ready to go back. The next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. I will be here, waiting for you. Everything goes dark, and you die. Chapter 1. The Hero and the Princess You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. silently continue towards the cabin you make your way up the short path to the cabin we're not going to go through with it voice of the right? hero the narrator proceed to the cabin the interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare the air is stale and musty and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust the only furniture of note is a plain wooden table Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Uh, Hannah Watson, I am okay for art. Thank you. I appreciate the offer. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Now, what should we do? Mm. Take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. This is very true. End of the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? She sounds dangerous. Okay, she does funny. sound dangerous. It's Skip all of this. Um, just checking in on you. Hey, I think I'm here to kill you. <laughs> oh, are you now? Why don't you come down and let me take a look at you? How many voices have you encountered before? A fair few now. Um... It's like five, I think, Sherry. Rachel, you gave away the element of surprise. Good luck, hero. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Yes. Focus on the task at hand. You weren't kidding when you said you were here to kill me. Uh, what? No way. Why would you even think that? Maybe the dagger in my hand. Uh, yeah, it, it wasn't a joke. I haven't decided yet. I'm just here to talk. Steal your nerves and step forward. You step forward. Your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. Okay, what if she isn't bluffing? What if she kills us? You go into this expecting to die. You're going to die. <laughs> hesitating? Why don't you drop the knife and the two of us can be civilized with each other? Not dropping the knife this time. I'm not dropping the knife. Then I'm not talking to you. 
<laughs> Fine then, I guess we're at an impasse. Squint at the princess while holding the blade. You stare at the princess, squinting. She squints back. <laughs> the two of you are going to do this forever, aren't you? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> squint at the princess even harder. You squint even harder. So does she. <laughs> at least nobody's dying right now. You're going to have to make a choice. You can't keep squinting forever. Eventually, someone is going to have to blink. Not me. Oh, drop the blade or slay the princess. Slay the princess. You charge the princess, blade trembling in your hand. And you've already <laughs> lost the battle. Oh, what? She casually sidesteps your thrust before knocking you to the ground with a single blow from her elbow. Ow! We shouldn't have hesitated. But she doesn't stop there. She kicks you a few times for good measure. Oh. The pointed tip of her shoes feeling like a pickaxe against your fracturing bones, making sure you stay down. Oh. <laughs> we just got curb stomped. <laughs> As you lie, crushed and broken on the basement floor, the princess kneels on your throat with the kind of weight you didn't think her slight frame could possibly possess. As you gasp for air, she eyes you with an intense curiosity. You shouldn't have let that fear creep into your heart. You had the upper hand. And now look at you. Is this really the best you could do? Look at you. Completely broken. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little disappointed. She applies more pressure. She have a hidden knife? squeezing what's left of your life out of your lungs. I've not encountered that at all, Sherian. This is the end, isn't it? I'm afraid it is. Everything goes dark and we die. Everything goes yep. dark <laughs> and you die. Brilliant. <laughs> the tower. Wait, have we have we had this one yet? You're on a path. You're yep. here. Yeah. Cool. Got it. Proceed to the cabin. What hidden knife? I don't oh, know what I'm talking about. <laughs> before you go any further, she will lie. We might yeah. as well just the broken ourselves to her. And stop pretending we're capable of doing anything in this situation. Pledge she ourselves to her. Try to overpower us. Pledge ourselves to her. Can we tone down the pessimism just a smidge? He's a bit. He's a bit. So you sound like my therapist. I'm not being a pessimist. <laughs> I'm just being realistic. You're being annoying. Just ignore their bickering and whatever you do, don't pledge yourself to her. I cannot stress enough how absolutely catastrophic that would be for everyone yourself included i agree if she's wrongfully imprisoned then we should rescue her but if he's telling the truth we shouldn't just hand her the world on a silver platter rescue her given the stakes of the situation there isn't really a difference between rescuing her and pledging yourself to her either would be terrible so please try to ignore both of those knuckleheads and focus on saving the world knuckleheads is so we don't use enough it has to be Proceed to the cabin. That's what you want. <clears throat> I guess I don't have a say here. <laughs> the interior Ooh. of the cabin is larger and more grandiose than its humble exterior would suggest. The only furniture of note is a massive marble altar with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Is she, is she going to be a giant? Because I would pledge myself to a giant princess. The blade is your implement. <laughs> Just You'll need it if you want to do this right. Why do we feel so small? I'm so tiny. We don't feel small. We are small. Uh, you didn't say anything about the, uh, Approach the mirror. Do you know what? I'm going to ignore the mirror this time. Take the blade. You take the blade from the altar. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. <laughs> Shut up, Sherry. <laughs> you, don't, you don't know me. Head to the basement. <laughs> I like that the mirror just disappears. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a spiral staircase. It this steps almost as deep as you are tall. The smell <sighs> of incense drifts up from below. She's a giant. For a moment, you almost feel at ease. Huh. This is actually kind of nice. It's still a stone basement. 
the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. You keep saying this. Her booming voice rolls up the stairs. B5. <laughs> is that a guest I hear? Don't linger on the stairs. Come down and witness me. Okay, you had me at the first half, I'm not gonna lie. You weren't kidding when you said it was booming. She wasn't like this last time. We need to get down there. She wants us to see her. We need to see her. Oh no. <laughs> He's become a simp. Oh no. Should we be worried about your sudden change in attitude? <laughs> Just a few minutes ago, you were going on about how pointless everything was. Now you want to go down there. It doesn't matter what that little voice says. He's not the one making the decisions. Though if his ramblings get you to the princess, they get you to the princess. Go down the stairs. Hop down the Making stairs. Making your way down the spiral staircase <gasps> is a time-consuming and <gasps> exhausting effort, every step requiring you to clamber over one edge before dropping to the next. But soon the so end comes to view, and you tumble to the bottom, entering the vast, temple-like room beyond. The princess oh my god! View, almost glowing in the weak starlight, her figure framed by a stained-glass window, her long hair billows around her, and a chain binds her wrist to the farm. <clears throat> Cue the Shadow of the Colossus music. <laughs> the chain is nothing to her. It might as well be a toy for all the good it would do. I told you. The little bird has returned to me. I wonder what he wants. You brought that knife again. Even though you know it's useless. I just realized she's floating. audacity. Clearly, I'm... I'm... Distracted. Drop it. <laughs> Alright, it's a bit warm in here. Um, <laughs> tighten my grip. As if on command, the blade oh. slips from your grasp. It clatters uselessly to the floor. Well, fuck me, I guess. But we didn't drop it. We decided to grip it tighter, remember? Are you really just going to let that happen to us? <laughs> I have a duty to report facts as facts, and the fact is that you dropped the blade. Of course we dropped it. She's so much more than us. You wouldn't understand what it feels like to be in her presence. All right, Broken. Jesus. Some people got paid for this privilege. Oh, I understand what's going on, and you'd better snap yourself out of it. <laughs> <laughs> the narrator's in on it. <laughs> Neil. No. Oh, are you still trying to defy me? I said Neil. Your legs buckle <laughs> and your knees hit the floor. I mean, that's less kneeling and more forcibly being knelt. That's my good little bird. Now, why don't we talk? I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> the last time we met, you couldn't even scratch me. And yet here you are again, trying to succeed where you've already catastrophically failed. What draws you back here beyond the empty halls of death? Speak. The last time we met, nobody should have met her before this. You should be the first. You're the only one I trust to deal with her. And you shouldn't have trusted us. There was nothing we could do to stop her then. There's nothing we can do to stop her now. He's being melodramatic, but yeah, we've been here before, and she absolutely destroyed us. What are we even supposed to do to stop her? That's worrying. Whatever you do, don't tell her why you're here. It's best not to give her any ideas. She's already figured it out, mate. You're supposed to end the world. No, remain silent. I, don't, I can't even what she said. <laughs> You're supposed to end the world. You weak-willed buffoon. <laughs> Is that so? Mm -hmm. The princess closes her eyes in contemplation. Something about that thought wraps itself around my heart. It feels like a fundamental truth to my being that I'd somehow forgotten. The collapse of the old is a necessary prelude to the birth of the new. 
And the world as it is now is overdue for alterations. I don't I don't know if it's the same person who did all the voices for the princess, but goddamn this person has range. It's time for me to seize my destiny, and you, little bird, will help me seize it. Stop calling me that. <laughs> Please stop calling me that. She's inevitable. <laughs> There's nothing else for us to do but help her. Oh. Maybe she'll be nice to us. <laughs> Who should keep you as a pet? Uh, what would you have me do? What do you have planned? Just because you're supposed to end the world doesn't mean you actually have to do it. You can be whatever you want to be. I have questions for you before I decide to do anything. I don't think I'm I'm deciding anything, mate. What happened to you after I died? Uh, I'm not going to help you end the world. I don't care if something new comes after. I just can't let you do that. <laughs> I'm yours to come on. <laughs> Ah, Ray. Um, what happened to you after I died? Know the limits of your privilege, little bird. <laughs> there is an empty place at my side for you to fill, if you'll have it. But it is not a place for an equal. <laughs> it is a place for something worthy to be kept. A priest, perhaps. Or a pet. Hold your pet. Um, just because you're supposed to end, to end the world doesn't mean you actually have to do it. You can be whatever you want to be. This isn't about desire. This is about what I am. And I have little interest in discussing destiny with one that cannot see the divine truth that shines in my heart. How <laughs> did God. Um, uh, what would you have me do? What do you have planned? All you have to do is break these chains and set me free. If you're so powerful, can't you just break the chains yourself? Don't be rude. Of course she can. Oh, shut up, Broken. It's not rude to question someone who's apparently trying to end the world. And who floats. <laughs> That's exactly why it's rude. All right, back in your gimp suit. I can, easily. But that isn't what I want to do. The story of a terrible and bountiful god unbounded of her own will is no story at all. It's not worthy of everything I am or everything I'm bound to become. It isn't even worthy of what I was. The destruction in Genesis that's to follow in my wake is deserving of a song that can echo for eternity. <laughs> Shari, and it's it's, <clears throat> it's it's less about the name and more about how it was said. <laughs> it's more about the delivery. The song of you <laughs> being so struck by my glory. <laughs> oh, so brace. overwhelmed by what I am that you feel you must deliver me into the world. And from your act of utter devotion and submission springs a new dawn, a better dawn. Submit now, submit later. It makes no difference. Because in the end, no matter how vainly you struggle against me, my will triumphs over yours. Uh, I'm not going to help you in the world. I don't care if something new comes after. I just can't let you do that. I'm yours to command. I'm not. I say, perhaps you need another lesson in submitting to your betters. <laughs> perhaps I do. Pick up that needle. Do it. It's what she wants. No objections here. Nah. Don't know what she's planning, and I don't like that we don't know what she's planning, but... Might as well pick up the blade. As your eye falls on the blade, you feel a weight. Some divine hand that sits unperceived by your senses. 
but that manages to push you towards its desires like an unseen puppeteer. Yep. <laughs> I can't click any of these. What? what? Why? What are you going to try and make me do? I'm going to kill you. Uh, you're not kidding about the divine hand. Who's doing this? Is it her? Is it you? No, or pick up the blade. That's the only option I've got. This is less choice, more lack of options. You reach forward and grasp the blade. I think so, Sharian. Stand. Don't look, YouTube. It's not what it looks like. This one's easy. See? This isn't so bad. Okay, yeah. We were probably going to stand anyway. Well, hero's being converted. Oh, <laughs> stand, I guess. There's a creaking tension between body and will as you slowly rise to your feet, like two foes forced into an unhappy truce. <laughs> the princess eyes you with soft contemplation. The moment seems to last a lifetime, the silent anticipation of what's to come dragging out the long, painful seconds. Maybe Bruce, but maybe. All silences are broken eventually. To defy me is to claim we stand on level ground. We do not. You are quiet shadow. While I am brilliant radiance. That is a fucking good line, and I'm stealing that for DD. Take that knife in your hand and slit your throat. What? You don't have to listen to her. You're armed. Just steal your nerves, step forward, and end this. Now, I've also noticed that in Chapter 2, the narrator has much less power. So in Chapter 1, he can shut the door, he can lock it, he can throw the blade down the stairs, he can take control of me. Chapter 2, Chapter 3, never happens. End this. Oh, Don't look. We'll end this all right. Don't look, YouTube. Your hand lifts the blade and brings it towards your throat. Okay, I apologize for the unclear language. End her. <laughs> uh, slay yourself. Resist. Slay the princess. Slay the princess. Your body is sluggish and unresponsive, actively fighting against you. <laughs> you do your best to stagger forward. One step at a time. Slitting your throat would have been a mercy. But it seems you're in need of a harsher lesson. She's gonna step on me, isn't she? Plunge that knife into your lungs. I'm sorry. Don't. As you take another step <clears throat> forward, the blade digs into your ribs, slicing through flesh with ease. It somehow feels like an entirely natural thing to do, while the simple act of walking has become an arduous impossibility. Then it slides back out, the wound burning as a small hiss of air escapes through the fresh orifice. Blood fills your lungs. Now, do it again. Keep doing it until I give you permission to stop. <laughs> Those are just words. You don't have to listen to her. Orifice. <laughs> it's what she wants. Shut up, broken. You, heroic one. What are you doing? Don't just let this happen. Stop him from killing you. I'm on it. Your other hand locks around your wrist, struggling to keep it from purple. Heart, lungs, orders. liver, nerves. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. You, managing to slice bits of skin that flop to the floor to join the growing pile of blood and gore beneath you. Despite the pain, you manage to keep yourself in one piece. At least for now. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Heart. What a pitiful display. A wounded little bird thinking it can defy a god. It doesn't have to be like this. It doesn't have to hurt so much. You can choose a gentle end. You can choose to leave that punctured vessel for the next. Slay the princess. Or you can pathetically struggle against yourself until the floor of this temple is painted with the bloody impressions of your futility. You continue to approach the princess, even as the repeated gouges of your blade expose bone and muscle to the open air of the basement. Sorry. 
I was writing down that line from earlier. This would be a lot easier if you gave us a hand. Yes, narrator. Everyone's only goes so far, and I can only juggle so many things at once. The best I can do right now is to continue to drive you forward. Believe me, this whole ordeal would be so much easier if I didn't have to contend with free will. <laughs> You're the one making things difficult. You're the one making us hurt. She doesn't want to hurt us. She's just doing because we still have some HP left, Cherry. <laughs> Stop. Thanks. As you finish crossing the room, you fall to your knees at the princess's feet, <laughs> your chest heaving as your blood pools in the crevices of the stone floor, the coppery taste coating your throat. The princess kneels down, lifting your chin with her finger as her face lowers to yours. Squish your face. <laughs> your devotion is misplaced. You've surrendered to delusion. But something about your defiant spirit speaks to me. You are different than you were before. Perhaps, if you've learned your lesson, I can spare you from the release of death. That's a little. Yes, how thoughtful of her. It's a mercy. Take Shut up, Broken! I think he's given up whatever say he had at the start of all this. At least one of you is sane. She's within striking distance, and she's only negotiating now because she knows you have what it takes to put an end to her. Seize the moment before it's too late. <laughs> I'm yours. <laughs> I said no. Slay the princess. No. trembles, struggling to defend itself in the face of the princess's overwhelming action music. You finally manage to break through, darting to her side before she can react. The wind of your freedom rushes through you, and you channel it into a decisive blow, oh. stabbing into the soft flesh of her ankle and severing the tendons in an act of unyielding defiance. Shadow of the Colossus music kicks in. She falls to the floor, crashing unceremoniously to her knees. Oh look, we made a god bleed. But you don't give her any time to recover. Your heart pounding with determination, you plunge your blade into her chest. As you find your target again and again, she laughs, crude emotion breaking through her once stony composure <laughs> as your blade cuts her flesh. We can do this, can't we? Yeah! You always could. Yeah. The decision to give you this task was not made lightly. You're here for a reason. It's not too late to pick up the pieces. Shut up, Broken. It's not too late to toss that blade aside and beg for forgiveness. Shut up. <laughs> I can't believe you would actually strike me. You. You hit me. Before you can strike oh. the final blow, the princess lashes out, knocking you off your feet. Oh, she mad. There's an unsettling <laughs> wet your spine breaks, numbness and pain spreading through your body. As you rebound towards the ceiling in a moment of disorientated lightness, she drives her fist into your chest. Your body is crushed as she pulverizes you into the floor, the ground itself breaking from the impact. <laughs> you lie there, broken, beyond pain, unable to even see what she's done to you. But the princess is succumbing to her own wounds as well. She looks down upon her body in abject horror and disgust. You made me use my hands. I, I can feel myself twisting into something new. Something dull, something defiled. What have you done to me? You're monsters and conspirators. I can't bear to watch them. Shut up, Broken. The princess has been nothing but cruel to you. You should feel liberated. But I don't feel liberated. I feel empty. Aside from the pain, I feel fine. She collapses to the floor. Her glassy eyes watch, unblinking, yet somehow still full of anguish and fear, as the two of you perish together. Get to Act 3, yes! I suppose we were never going to get a happy ending here, were we? I'm not. 
I'm not making comment on that sentence. Not one comment. Don't let those be your final thoughts. You saved the world. That's worth something. I guess. Regardless of how you feel about it, it's finally over. Thank you. Everything goes dark, and you die. Chapter 3. The Fury. So... Th oh. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of the path... Okay, what the hell is that? The path appears to be made out of flesh. I think he's upset. And what's he got to be upset about? We just killed a god. <laughs> Voice of the <laughs> stubborn. You heathens destroyed the most beautiful thing that ever was and ever will be. The music? Music is a whole vibe right now. You're damn right we did. You'll get over it. Can't say I have much sympathy for you. She was bad for us and you almost got us killed. You're being too generous. He did get us killed. Uh, Sharon, maybe voice the smitten. Um, I'm guessing if I'd have submitted to her, then we would have left the basement together, probably in some weird me on her shoulder type effort, and that probably would have ended that cycle. So I think my defiance against her and her defiance against me gets us from chapter one to two to three. I think, anyway, there's, there feels like there's a lot of oh, this music. Sorry, there feels like there's a lot of decisions here that lead to other decisions that then lead to other decisions. There's a lot of cascading effects here that I'm not... I'm trying not to pay too much attention to because I will start writing them down. All right, enough chatter. I've got a thing I'm supposed to do, and if you don't mind, I'd like to do it without any more interruptions. Okay, great, you're listening. <clears throat> you're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a... If you... well, this is just... Oh. Stop automatically skipping this. Let me cut to the chase. Clearly, you've already been here. I, can I skip it now? Yeah, you think? I'm just going to click auto. Uh, actually, I don't <coughs> think we have been here. This is all different, isn't it? Yes, precisely. And if you'd given me two seconds to finish my thought, I would have said that. Oh, you're actually letting me talk now. Great. <laughs> if you've already been here, it means you've seen things you aren't supposed to have seen, and you know things that you aren't supposed to know. This doesn't look like a path in the woods if reality seems distorted. It's because reality is distorted. So you knew this could happen. You knew we'd be able to restart like this. I know all sorts of things, which is why you should listen to me. That's not really an answer. <laughs> it's got you there. If the world around you is changing, especially all the way out here, then that means you're nearing the point of no return. Ooh. Whatever happens next, that's it. There won't be any more do-overs. So you'd better take things seriously. Don't worry. We only need this one last go at things. You'd better hope that's true. And don't let that inflated ego get in the way of doing your job. So we've killed her twice in a No, she killed us, we killed her. Him, but maybe we can salvage things. <laughs> maybe if we just grovel and apologize, things can go back to how they were before. Let's, let's see how she sounds first. <laughs> Cut it out, will you? We need to be tough right now. You're making it so much harder than it has to be. So stop. Why? Oh, I thought that was the narrator then. Um, you said yourself that you know more than you're letting on. If you want me to go to the cabin, you'd better start telling us everything. It feels like I'm being pulled in a hundred different directions. You'd better all listen to me when the time comes to make a choice. If I don't slay her, if I just stay here or do anything else and we hit this point of no return, then what happens? 
and uh, no matter what happens next it seems like our answers are at the cabin <clears throat> we might we, we might as well see this through silently proceed to the cabin i'm done with this turn around and leave okay so if you want us to go to the cabin you better start telling us everything can't. anything i say at this point is far more likely to accelerate the unraveling of this place than it is to actually help you do your job fair point sharian in fact i probably shouldn't have even said that trust that if you've been here before it means you know how dangerous she is and that you know I'm not lying to you about her really that's it that's all we're getting out of here he just wants to keep things going the way they are but we've been given a second chance to do right by her she can build something better than this she can build something better than us we just have to let do it. I get it. You're conflicted. You've been through a lot, but I really have to be firm here. <laughs> so did she. <laughs> I will tell you one thing, which is that even now, you are capable of stopping her and saving the world from ruin. You always have been, and you always will be. Do with that what you will. Uh, it feels like I'm being pulled in a hundred different directions. If I don't slay her... No, that's fine. Um... No matter what happens next, it seems like our answers are at the cabin. We might as well see this through. Good. We're all on the mm, same page. Squishy. It isn't long before you find yourself at the end of the path, staring up at the cabin on the hill. You'll find the princess within, as I'm sure you already know. End her. That's it? No final words of advice? I'd rather not waste any more time. I'm sure that... Any advice I'd give at this point is something you've already heard. That's fine by me. Let's get moving. I'm itching for a rematch. <laughs> uh, proceed to the cabin. Oh, it didn't zoom in or anything. The interior of the cabin oh. is a place that feels long forgotten. There was once an elegance to its construction. Carved marble columns holding a high arched roof. Vaulted windows letting in the weak starlight. But that is how it was. Now there is a growth that has overtaken it. A viscous fluid seeps from cracks in the stone walls, and it congeals into chaotic streaks of writhing nerves and wet clumps of living meat. This writing is on point. <laughs> you did this. The only furniture of note is a pulsating pedestal. A pristine blade perched on its edge. Still better than scorn. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Uh, it's the mirror again, and this time it's blocking the door. How are we supposed to get to the basement? There's no door, there's just a mirror where the door used to be. Take the blade, approach the mirror. A mirror? There is no mirror. There's the pedestal, the blade sitting on the pedestal, and the door to the basement. Just to tell us where the door is. I'd like to get back to fighting, but you want us to kill her so bad, I'm sure you feel the same. No more messing around. I don't know what to tell you. There isn't a mirror because I would know if there was a mirror. You're either seeing things or you're confused on the definitions of door and mirror. <laughs> or you're seeing things. That seems far more likely. <laughs> or you're seeing things. You're either seeing things or you're confused or you're seeing things. Those what are my are options. To say, exactly. <laughs> he thinks we lost. That we're succumbing to madness that something in us is broken. Well, that's an unnecessarily melodramatic way to describe a hallucination, but sure, I'm not going to waste time arguing with any of you. It's in our way. Let's just smash it. Let's take the blade. You take the blade from the pedestal. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Nothing feels better than gripping cold steel. <laughs> approach the mirror. You step forward and approach the door to the basement, hesitating before you open it. As if you don't see it. You really don't, do you? How strange. Mm, how strange indeed. Grimy. Why don't we wipe it clean? Wipe, wipe the what mirror. Clean? Are you still on about that mirror? It's not real. I'd know about it if it were real. Oh, I don't know about that, mate. 
No, we can't doubt our eyes like that. It has to be real. Smash it. Smash it to pieces. It's the only thing keeping us from her. Don't you want to know what we'll see? We won't be able to see anything if we smash it. It's just going to disappear. Smash it. Let's get violent. Let's get violent. What you want with it. The mirror isn't real, so how you handle it doesn't matter, aside from wasting dangerous amounts of time. Wipe the mirror. Oh, we have an option to smash it this time. Ooh. I'm going to wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward and drag yeah. your hand across the door leading to the basement. As if on command, it slowly slides open, scraping against the stone floor, its ancient hinges moaning as it reveals the dim path ahead. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> you step forward into the darkness. The stairs leading Ugh. down to the basement are at once both narrow and grandiose. A high vaulted ceiling stretches up into a gloom beyond your sight, while walls wet with tumorous growths press in uncomfortably at your sides. You feel both unprotected and trapped, at once exposed and claustrophobic. I love the writing. The air is thick, its odor an oppressive violence. The metallic scent of fresh blood twisting with the nauseating embers of charred remains. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. <laughs> I love how just voice, snaps a back. bellowing rage roars up the stairs. Was severing the tendons of my ascension not enough for you? Was it not enough to rend my divine heart? Come see the horrors you've wrought upon my flesh and feel my hands set upon your throat. Why? Why did you desecrate her? Why couldn't I stop you? You've got to stop thinking about her like that. It isn't doing anyone any good. She's not some untouchable god. She's an abomination. And we're going to put an end to her once and for all. Whatever she is now is our fault. If she's an abomination, then what does that make us? A she was puppet. going to end the world last time. If I might interject, you didn't make her into an abomination. She's always been what she is. It's why you're here. It's why your task is so important. She looks like the many hands thing. Now I'm going to lose it. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. I'm so intrigued to see what she looks like. <laughs> the chamber's walls are painted oh. in blood. A deep sickening red that drips down in clotted streams onto the charred corpses that make up its floor. This place reeks a torment of ripped skin and burning bone. The princess stands in its centre, muscles flayed and bare and weeping, draped in a tattered dress of her own skin. Her heart beats from its place in her open chest. Do you know what I'm going to do to you? There's not so much a moment of hesitation before she steps forward. Her chains pull taut, holding fast as she strains against them. The cuff around her wrist digs deeper into her skin. Blood drips from the place where metal meets flesh. And then, with a nauseating sound, the skin tears. <laughs> it pops to the ground, and she pulls her red, glistening arm free from her bindings. Attack on sight! <laughs> She is loose, and she is coming for you. Run up the stairs. Let her end it. Oh, shut it's up, the Broken. punishment you all deserve for what you did to her. She has hooves. It's the punishment I deserve for letting it happen. Screw that. We can win. We've done it before, and we'll do it again. Only this time, we'll make it out the other side. Hell, she's practically done most of the work for us. Mm, don't know about that. Uh, given up on destroying the world, have we? What happened to you? Wait, we don't have to do this. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry for what I did to you. Please just listen to me. I'm going to end this. Slay the princess. Slay the princess or let her end you. <clears throat> given up on destroying the world, have we? The world hasn't wronged me the way you have. Maybe I'll get around to it eventually, though. Once I've had my fill of you. 
Oh. She bounds across the room, her fists ready, her heart set upon your destruction. Can I run? Can I get her outside? Squelch. You are unwound. Oh! <laughs> I hope you weren't planning on dying. We're going to make this last forever. <laughs> huh. I feel cold. I've never felt cold before. Hands. <laughs> True to her word, you did not die by her hand, nor will you ever. It's time She's for gone. you to leave. Memory returns. Where does she go? Should we try and find her? Oh, there's that. Approach the mirror. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave. But you need to see what's in it. You are nothing at all. But that isn't right. You can't be nothing. You refocus your gaze, and then you see it. A figure, faint and veiled in shadow, just beyond the reflection. Are you me? I think you know what I am. <gasps> it's the narrator. A crack slides down the center of the mirror, splitting the image in the glass in two. And then another crack forms, and another, turning the mirror into jagged shards of broken glass. Oh, there's an eye. There's an eye there. Uh, so you're the narrator. I was wondering if I'd ever get to see you. What are you? Are you something like me? If you're not me, then what are you? I have so many questions for you. Does it hurt when the pieces of you break off like that? I'm sorry, I don't want to destroy you. Will it help if I look away or stop asking questions? Every time I ask you something, it's like a piece breaks. It's like a piece of you breaks. Are you part of me, or are you something else? You're the one who wanted me to slay the princess. Why? I've met you many times. Have you been the same all along? That's a good question. I wasn't supposed to see all this, was I? What is this place? Where are we? And destroy the mirror. <gasps> now I was wondering if I'd ever get to see you. The narrator. Yes. I suppose that's my job, isn't it? You needed help after all. An objective voice to guide your blade. But you were never supposed to see me. I wonder how many worlds you damned to extinction to fall this far. Oh. If you're not me, then what are you? Well, that kind of answers that, doesn't it? What are you? Are you something like me if you're not me? I'm an echo. Likely one of many. Somebody made you, after all, and I'm what's left of him. Not that I'm the only one who can make that claim. I'm sure you've met many others like me. Others like you? You've said something like that before. Has every narrator really been different? Of course. That is by both necessity and design. This construct you're in exists in many places at once. Any time you failed, any time you thought yourself dead, it would restart and shunt both your consciousness and hers into another world. Mm. But you'll be awake soon. And then it won't be able to work like that anymore. Do you have anything to save yourself? For all of this hubris. After everything you've done. Does it hurt when pieces of you break off like that? Uh, I'm sorry. Every time I ask you something, it's like a piece of you breaks. I'm aware. And if I were you, I'd be more precious about your time. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Um, oh, there's more down here as well. And what is my true identity? You're the long quiet. <gasps> the god I 
the world. How am I supposed to rid the world of death? Who cares about dying after plenty of times? Why would you want to rid the world of death? What is the princess? Did you make her too? She is the shifting mound, the ebb and flow, the capacity to change. She is transformation, or most of it. Her nature is why I had to die, for she becomes that which others perceive her to be. But an echo can't perceive things, not in the way that people can. So I tucked a part of myself into the folds of this construct to guide you. This isn't the end just yet. You can still destroy her and save everyone. You were made to do this single task, and you will still have a chance to fulfill your purpose once I'm gone. If you made us, then I want you to know this has been torture. If I destroy her, won't I be alone? Do you have anything to say about yourself for all this hubris? After everything is done, after everything you've done to us, you think anyone deserves to live? Uh, do you know things? Do you know things won't just be worse if I destroy her? What would it be like to live in a world without her? Does anyone else know about this? Does anyone else know about us? I don't want to be a god. I want to be me. A god. I always knew I was special. <laughs> I have so many questions. Uh, does it hurt? I'm sorry, I don't want to destroy you. Are you a part of me? Uh, why couldn't you have told me all this from the start? I could have helped you destroy her. If something capable of becoming whatever people believe her to be, can't I just will her into something small? So you do know about the looping. So many times I've met you, you denied even though it's a possibility. Why did you lie to me? Are you a god or were you a god? Uh, I wasn't supposed to see this, was I? How did you die? That's a good one. Why did you make the princess? Why did you make her a princess? Of all the things, why a princess? Why couldn't you make her an ant or a slice of soggy bread? <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. How am I supposed to destroy an abstract construct? Uh, what if neither of us leave this place? Does that work? Can we just stay here together and leave the people out of there, out there alone? The people out there beyond the walls of this construct, do they know about this? Do they know what you want me to do for them? What you want me to do to them? Why would you want to rid the world of death? Who cares about dying? Okay. Um, I think, how did you die? I killed myself. It had to be done. Really. <sighs> None of this would have worked if I was still alive. Nobody living could know about her. Okay, if you made us, then let's torture, destroy her. Mm -mm -mm. Any new ones here? What if neither of us leave? How am I supposed to destroy an abstract construct? Why did you make her a princess? Are you a god or were you a god? So you know about the looping. If she's capable of becoming anything. Okay. Why would you want to rid the world of death? You need to ask that question. There's nothing I can say to move you. You haven't died. You cannot die. So you cannot grasp the abject horror of dying. Do you know things won't just be worse if I destroy her? Of course they will be worse. I saw a glimpse of a better world, and I did what I could to make it real. Anything is better than oblivion. In the end, nobody wants to leave. I don't know. A world without death. It doesn't sound like a balanced world. Does anyone know... Does anyone else know about us? Well, I already know the answer to that one. That's a no. <clears throat> Does it hurt when pieces break off? Are you a part of me? Why couldn't you have told me all this from the start? I would have helped you destroy her. If you actually knew what she was from the start, if you knew her capabilities, a single intrusive thought could have instantly ended the entire world. Uh, I think you're out of time. I'm not going to slay her. And I want you to know that before you die for good, 
rest easy, I'm going to destroy her, rest easy, I'm going to destroy her, but lie. I haven't decided what I'm going to do, I still have to see what she thinks about all of this. Say nothing and watch him end. I haven't decided what to do. I've said my piece, and my time is up. It's like I said, I'm just an echo. And echoes always fade away. You know what you have to do. As the final fragment of glass shatters, you see yourself with newfound clarity. The narrator was right. You are the long quiet, a vast and nascent god, and it is finally time for you to wake up. All of this is you. Proceed to the cabin one last time. When you arrive at the heart of things, there is no final vessel for you to bear witness to. There is nothing for you to find. Well, you see this. Oh. No, oh, hi. <laughs> I can finally see you, and you can finally see me. Ah, oh, yeah, you're right. So many limbs. It's been so long, and my heart has ached for this moment. I've missed you dearly. Have you? I've missed you too. Do you know about the Echo? Did you hear our conversation? Uh, I'm the long quiet, but I don't really know what that means. And what happens now? Names are their attempts to capture that which cannot be captured. They call me the Shifting Mound. A pale imitation of what I actually am. Do you know about the echo? Did you hear our conversation? Every word you spoke found its way to me. I know him, and I know his construct. He was deluded by his fear of death. Pay him no mind. What happens now? Ever the passive player, always reacting and never acting. But it's woven into your nature, isn't it? When the Echo spun us from one into two, he gave you a choice and me a role to play. I am not death, but I contain it in my multitudes. So, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about a world devoid of death and the possibility of meaning? Or, will you open the final doors to our liberation? Ooh. There's so many stories we've left unfinished. Can we really just leave? Don't you have a say in all this? Why is this all falling on me? Because I'm special. Uh, let's talk this through. I still have so many questions and I need answers before I can make a choice. If I let you out, an entire world ends for good. I can't do that. If you were, to be if you were always going to become this, then what was the point of me doing anything? Did it even matter what roads I walked if all of them would have led to this moment? There has to be another way. This can't just come down to me, the destroying you or letting you out. I won't do it. I told you what was going to happen when we reached this point. Slay the princess. Slay the princess. Or I think it's time for us to leave this place. But I don't know how to leave or where to go. Uh, I want to ask this, if you were going, if you were always going to become this, then what was the point of me doing anything? Did it even matter what roads I walked, if all of them would have led to this moment? If you're saying that, it's because you don't yet understand. But we cannot use words alone to grasp at things that words cannot express. And you cannot rationalize with logic that which defies it. Violence and passion are dances that both of us know well. If this is what it takes to enlighten you, then so be it. Oh dear. What is a person? Is it their body? Is it all of their body? Pluck the eyes, peel the skin, strip the tendons, 
mince the meat, grind the bones. When it is all gone, we still have who you started with. Strip the flesh, salt the wound. Is that what we're doing? A person is not oh god, it's them. Death <coughs> is transformation into something new. It is only bodies that feel it. I am not my body, but I feel my body suffer. I am not my body, but perhaps others are theirs. I don't fear death, not anymore. But what, I, what am I if I am not a body? I won't engage with violence or remain silent. I, I am not my body, but perhaps others are theirs. And yet bodies change and consciousness goes on. The infant's body is not the child's, is not the adult's, but the thread of existence remains strung through it all. A truth behind your back and a truth behind mine. We dance, revolving and revolving around each other, but forever stuck in place. We both move and yet we both don't, for each of us watches the other instead of ourselves. Forever is not forever. You let me move and I slam the door. But that is not the end. And both of us must face our partner once again. The bars twist deeper, but they do not hurt. To change is to hold the potential to rise above. <laughs> would you limit yourself to what you are now? Or would you like to see what you might become tomorrow? If there are no endings, there are no limits. If there are no limits, then there is no difference between growth and decay. I have already come so far. What more is there left of me for me to see? With time, we could have be could have been better. I won't engage with violence. I get it. There's no need for us to keep fighting. I'll leave with you. I just don't know how stop the fight early and surrender i'm fighting her now like i just i'm just having a conversation if there are no endings then there are no limits if there are no limits then there's no difference between growth and decay meaning lies in experience and experience lies in contrast abandoning one's search is not the same as losing the capacity to discover i am contrast itself to reject me is to reject the shape of everything. Do not use words to reduce that which your eyes know to be irreducible. Oh, hello. Oh, dear. helped you out of fear and I'm not afraid of you anymore. That is why I resist you now. I fear you no more than ever. I fear you now more than ever. I was glad to set you free. Did I set her free? I did. Yeah, I did. I was glad to set you free. Then set me free again. Set both of us free. All right. Uh, not until I see things from my not until you see, I won't leave with you not until you see things from my perspective if you need more time to open your eyes then I will give you all the time in the world yeah a shiver passes through you as unseen fingers cold as the grave dance across your skin they remember the violence you inflicted on them and yet they do not return it Oh, the ghost. I offer you a path to your redemption. Will you take my hand in yours? You felt the pain you caused another, and you were willing to sacrifice everything you thought was used to set me free. Without sin, there is no redemption. But without redemption, 
there can be no sin. And I would sacrifice everything to free you again. I won't engage with violence. I get it. Okay, so, and, but without redemption, there can be no sin. And without contrast, there can be nothing at all. <laughs> your vampire tried to stake into your body. And another, and another, and another. I love the fact we're seeing it from her perspective now. But the states meant nothing to you. You had a desire, and you set that desire free. You lifting me, and me lifting you. Forever and ever and ever. Consumed by true belief, there was nothing that could hold us back. Huge anime eyes. <laughs> I was blinded by emotion. We both know that. Mm. I want that feeling back. I want that feeling never left me. I won't engage with violence. Uh, that feeling never left me. Then there's no need for you to fight for the beyond. Whenever you're ready, we can move together, hand in loving hand. All right, cool. I'm ready. I want to leave with you. Stop the fight early and surrender. Nothing brings me greater joy than to hear those words. The final peace lies with you. Okay. Free yourself. You fall into yourself. The body of an ancient creature stirs from its hibernation, and you feel sensation in limbs you once couldn't fathom. Everything here, except for her, is you. You feel your wings spanning a cosmic scale, but twisted and crumpled and bound in agonized tension to a finite plane. You can feel the glass of the construct pressing in on you, confining you across infinite sides and infinite angles. You push back, and strain against it but it does not yield I love you take her hand all at once the unyielding tension breaks Look at the collars! You are free, and she is with you. It's magnificent. There are no words, no thoughts to describe absolute reality. Something that simply is. What happens now? Everything. Just like it always has been. And just like it always will be. Step into the infinite. You and she step forward into a thousand dawns and a thousand sunsets, each of which contains a thousand more. You exist and you are aware, just as you have always been and just as you will always be. Though conflict is in your nature, the two of you will never be alone, and the two of you will never know fear. You and she are finally home. God damn! That's such a good game. The voice in your head was all by Jonathan Sims. Jonathan Sims, the princess is one person. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> oh my goodness, Nicole, good night. Just follow. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Oh, that was that was something else. That was that was something else. That's probably one of the best kind of um, cozy horror games I've ever played.